Okay, we're live on a uh, Sunday morning. I hope I've got the mic set up right. I always have to, well, not always, but I almost always have to check the audio. I do have a, one from the microphone. See, it's going through the microphone. I don't want it to do that. I'll go through my Yeti Nano. It's a cleaner sound. It's a better sound. The dedicated microphone is better than the mic that comes. I wish I could disable that permanently. Steve Park, welcome to the show. You're the first one in. It's a bit chilly, a bit chilly here. We're not a blanket. I'll get a blanket later. Anyway, maybe it'll heat up. Maybe maybe the topic will get us all heat up. Uh, we got Bish coming in from uh, the wonderful uh, Essex, uh, the great eastern county in the UK. Been there, been there. It was a uh, bucket list to go to visit England and... Uh, 2016, I was there and uh, saw Colchester, the ancient city, the Roman city of Colchester and uh, uh, Boudicca, you know, she rode over there and burned the place down to the joint. Windy and chilly, windy and chilly. We got uh, superstar, genuine, genuine, legit superstar, Angelo Kelly. And uh, the gifted musician, David Donnelly, joins us. We're very, very fortunate to have you uh, musician people here uh, that come in here. Uh, people like laughing at people. When there are other people fall over and land on their bottoms, it makes them fart rage, just for your information. Well, that's what you call a, uh, you know, what is that? A pratfall. You know, it's a, there's a word for it. Uh, Mac, welcome from Liverpool. Uh, yeah, Palm Sunday, David, safe and sound. Uh, Texas audio excursion, of course, Palm Sunday, uh, the sheaves, you know, everybody's waiting for the Messiah. Everybody's waiting for Messiah to come. And uh, so Palm Sunday, you know, the uh, in Jerusalem, uh, the triumphant entry into Israel, lowly and riding upon an ass, lowly and riding upon an ass. Uh, and then he removes himself from the crowd, which is a smart thing to do. Uh, morning, I'm quite a musician myself. I didn't know that. Mark, you should hear me on Kazoo. Kazoo? Meep. Kazoos are fun. Uh, spoons. Takes a little skill to work the spoons. Look, you come on screen and prove it. Good morning, Darren Crawford. Celebrity. Junior celebrity and growing popularity person. I heard it was a busy day in the uh, YouTube world yesterday. Sarah. We had the, the lovely Sarah Raging Tomato on yesterday. Very good guest. One of the best you can get. She's got such a, a great vocal, right? She's got the voice of an angel. She's got the voice that's built for radio. She lulls you all into a trance-like state, makes you more uh, flaccid so that uh, you can be more compliant. As we uh, as we uh, talk about things that generally upset you all, uh, I cannot forget the time I fell over in real life, and Angela could not stop laughing at my sad misfortune. Loki, that was a highlight. That was a highlight. Uh, Palm is a good Belgian beer, Rach. Just letting you know. Thank you, Frederick. Uh, strong showing from yourself yesterday on the TV show. You did good. Beautiful day in Sun Valley, California. How can you tell it's so damn early? Is this? I don't think the sun's up yet, you know, because of daylight savings, all that nonsense. That hurts my views. Well, the show's actually running too because England gets put back an hour. People get used to the show coming on a certain time. I'm. Uh, it's one, another one of the many things I'm against in life. But uh, there you have it. Beautiful day, Sun Valley, where someone bought a lottery ticket, two billion, a local Seven Eleven. Not me, thank goodness. Not ready for that shit. Well, okay, if I won two billion, I could handle it. I, I think I could handle two billion because I, you know, I'd give a bunch away for one thing. Set up all my friends. It's a, you're a millionaire. You're a millionaire. You're a millionaire. So that there would be a lot of that. But yeah, two billion, man. Get through friends and family. And then I'd fly, I'd fly to protest the environment with the, my other rich people in my private jet. Just to, and I'd land in and I'd go, This is it's horrible what's happening with the planet. Gotta save for the oil. It's evil, bad. And then I jet out and uh, I'd see Leo. 
Neo DiCaprio and I would hang, just talking, you know, having fun, hanging out. Uh, I hope Jim has more baby mama stories. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel both queasy and excited in anticipation of baby mama stories. Okay, Sarah's stream last time was an absolute class. She had two other ladies on that made mincemeat out of some of the more arrogant guys. Arrogant guys. It was genius. Now, were any vinyl committee members injured as a result of the dressing down by the hot babes? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, there was a rare girl who says that to pay Trump's bond in his New York thing. Well, that would be great. You're describing David Suzuki's lifestyle. I am indeed, Pat's Radio. I am indeed. All sorts of uh, goings-ons happening in this world. You know, Rich, if you want to, Bill, you could buy. I would. Damn it, I would. I'd handle. I'd say, you know what, Renee, we're getting you, and I'd be a rich, and I wouldn't even feel it. I'd be a write-off. Charitable tax write-off. Yes, yeah, some of the vinyl community were dressed down, but not mentioning any names. That's okay, David. We all have our role to play here. Rob will roll in later. I'm sure him, maybe Massey, will be able to give me the names uh, as to which individuals got dressed up. Was Jimenez there? You know, uh, what's what do I call him? James Jimenez? Jimenez? James Jimenez? Jimenez? That guy? Anyway, let me know. Uh, good morning uh, to you as well, Sean. Good morning. Leo preaching at the Oscars about climate change. Getting on his private jet to fly south of France was an all-time classic. Yeah, that's my new lifestyle. If I went to Bill, I'll be right there. I'll fly in and visit you because you got to fly and meet your celebrity friend. Oh, I'm just jetting in to see Angelo. Yes, I'm bankrolling his next album. Yeah, it would be like that. There would be a lot of that. Good morning, Eric. How are you doing? Welcome to the show. So, uh, folks, there's not going to be a show tomorrow, at least not here. Somebody, will, you know, nature abhors a vacuum. Somebody will be in there. But I tell you what, I tell you what, like uh, we're going out. We're uh, after the show today. Uh, we're going to head out to uh, Sydney, the old ground, stomping ground. Sue's got some people to meet and hang out with. Uh, and, uh, uh, there was no Jimenez. Uh, he, he'd have lasted about eight seconds. The girls were just taking no prisoners. Unlike the Russians, Russians are good. Like, uh, you know, whenever we have something of this nature go down, oh, they're all dead. We have no idea what happened. It's a complete mystery. <laughs> the Russians, on the other hand, all right, you piece of, and they caught them. And boy, oh boy, they're, they are uh, talking in some sort of Tajik. This is something I was unaware. Do I have any Tajik speakers in the peanut gallery today? Let me know if you're a Tajikist. Tajik, Tajikistan, I guess, is a thing. I'm not too sure. It's all uh, it's all over there kind of business. So, but uh, you know, uh, Twitter was alive with the sound of music last night. A lot of people talking at the. Um, the Ukraine continues to do kind of a, 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 a nuisance attacks on Crimea and Belgrade, Belgrade. But the interesting thing is that the war on the actual ground along the West Coast is they just keep, you know, the where the battle line is, uh, the, the Russians continue just to gain territory. And that's really at the end of the day, uh, the only thing you need to go by, who's got what, who owns what, who's where. I'll rerun to rerun Domaini and everyone else should too. Oh, Domaini. Uh, can we do a pussy? Would you take over tomorrow? It's like that neither William nor Stenny will ruin it for us, like they ruined Ian's entire competition. Also, William might win anyway. William's pretty good. Rachel, my wife and I are about to get on a plane to New York for a five day trip. Haven't been in the U.S. in 20 years. Well, Angelo. Safe travels, you know, traveling mercies always. Same Sue and I are on the road. We're driving. I was talking to John, my friend Dag, on over in Van, and I was saying, hey, man, uh, you know, the thing is we got these divided highways. I love divided highways. They save so many lives because, you know, the highway's divided. You got the nice concrete divider. I love them. And Sue and I are actually going to go on a little boat ride. So we go drive down the highway, down the highway, and then we hop on a little ferry boat. Ferry across the Pacific Ocean in Latin Key. And then we get over the other side. 
Uh, I thought they blew the dust off the old ISIS threat for the recent, they, well, they're saying they did. But, uh, you know, people have a way of talking when they talk, right? Uh, okay. Uh, did you ever hear about the poll interference, Rachel? Real, actually, wasn't very nice. People were upset. I don't know about it. Uh, old Home Shores. I love it. Uh, bu- 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 okay. And I got uh, the bosses in with me today. <laughs> were you a bar fly in your younger years? No, I never was. I never was. I had all the makings of it. I would have been a good alcoholic. I come from a long line of alcoholics. But uh, somehow, in some way, I was able to avoid most of that. Um, I'm going to invite Sue up so she can hang out, too. Oh. Yeah. Already? Yeah, just me if you want. I'm just throwing it out if you want to join me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What else do I want to talk about? I'm tired. I got up early. I was up early today playing Elden Ring. I uh, I had to what's called cheese a couple of night riders that were giving me trouble. I obliterated, I vaporized, I absolutely decimated Melia. Melia, she's quite strong you, in the you game. Took like a month last time. What? You took like a month last time. I you. took a long time to beat her last time. You're right. This time I went out and I just cracked it, cracked her to pieces very quickly. I use the um, the uh, what is it, Blasphemous Sword or a Malakas uh, Black Death Blade oh, or something. Anyway, good morning, Rachel. I've always strong suspect the yammering from billions to Ukraine are those getting ten percent kickback? Oh, yes, of course, it's a money laundering uh, piece of nonsense. Absolutely. Hold on. Hang on. God. Can you just yeah? You're absolutely right, Wolfie. All right, now let's get uh, my much better half in here. Look at you. Nice smile for everybody. You look lovely. You got a big day ahead of you. Tell the kids what's uh, what's what. Well, I think you just did, didn't you? No. We're heading down to Sydney. But why are we heading to Sydney? Okay, so my friend, my riding coach of like many, like the last 15 years or whatever, she got breast cancer like right when I was kind of finishing my treatment. Yeah. And so she beat it. And we're giving her a uh, party tonight. To, uh, tonight, so we're going to do a dinner and whatnot. So she's so. officially retiring as being a teacher. Is this well, what no, this she's is? She's hoping to. No, it's not retirement. It's just hey, I beat cancer. Oh, okay, I'm yeah. Cancer free. Let's God bless a, her. Let's celebrate. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so her friends have arranged a dinner for her. And uh, I thought I better head down there and yeah. uh, support her and do that. So. You know, I can't. We can't mention cancer without throwing a, a, a friendly uh, s- a salute. And love towards D.W. Dan's uh, battling uh, cancer, and he's in he's in deep with it, and we we care about him, and uh, you know our thoughts are, are with him and his family, his loved ones. Yeah, very difficult, you know, this uh, when you fight cancer. It's, it's frightening. Our, it's not fun to stare at our own mortality. No, and yet, and yet, my mom and dad, my adopted mom and dad, my adopted brother. Those are my family. I just discovered my biological family yeah. in 2015. When they're fantastic, by the way. But yeah, and I love them all. They're great. But mm-hmm. you know, my the family raised me and everything else. Mom they're and dad, gone. they're gone. They're all gone. They're, they passed you're an away. Orphan. I'm an orphan no, in, an on orphan. some level, but I've been kind of readopted by my mom. But yeah. anyway, that's beside the point. She's amazing. The other thing is, is that all my heroes, John's gone. Uh, George is gone. The Beatles, half the Beatles are gone. So it's not like nobody's done this journey before my biological father's gone. You know, it's just, it's people have gone through this before. So, you know, it's part of it. We're born in this world and with a, with an expiration date on all of us. So, uh, you know, you have to be somewhat circumspect about it. Uh, uh, what was the deal? Like we watched the show last night, and I did the thing. It was called Indiscreet. Something no, like that. No, what was that thing called? I kept. I woke up trying to remember it. Yeah. I'm like, why can't I remember the? Well, name if you go on to YouTube and you look at the old YouTube, it would tell you kind of what it was. Yes, Eric. I said amaze balls. But anyway, uh, you know, and all the stars in it were gone. Like we watched Humphrey Bogart two nights ago. Maltese family. Like Humphrey, Humphrey died when he was fifty-seven. 57 years of age. 
And all these people in the movie last night died at my age or maybe a year over. The like main actor pretty died much when all he was of them. 66. Yeah. And PS, others that died in their 50s. You know, it's just because in the old days, they didn't have the medical thing like we do. And everybody was smoking. And they were a lot of hard drinkers. A lot of drinking of bourbon. A lot of drinking of bourbon and, and a lot of smoke. And, uh, you know, it takes its toll. Uh, Rach, you ruined an important poll with fake accounts like Stunning William. How would you like to be punished? Not. Uh, Andrew, remember the thing you made you sign when we met? I actually adopted you. It was a beautiful comment by Loki. Anyway, you know, so you you get somewhat circumspect over things. Uh, Proc Hat's in the house. Good morning, Proc Hat. Nice Good to see you, Proc Hat. Loki, thanks, there Dad. Is. There's a reunion. Yeah. There's a... A special family moment. so you're doing that and what and what am i doing so, I, you're, so gonna you're going go, to be out doing horsey stuff so Where am i, I found going? a great babysitter for rachel yes for when i go out for dinner yeah um well it's a house party really but um you are going to go hang out with uh, your uncle rich yeah rick eden uncle rick eden and yeah. his lovely partner sue yeah rick's my old buddy i've known him since i was 13 years old yeah and uh Oh, 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 whoa, <laughs> Tom, whoa, dude. Uh-oh, uh, I'll do it to you. Oh, my God. So, um, yeah, you're going to go have fun with those guys. Yeah, so I haven't seen Rick uh, to sit down and talk to him for a few months, six months or so. I have to say they're like the best friends. You well, yeah, I've known him since I was 13. You know, how do you tell your buddy, oh, I've decided to join the girls' team, yeah. you know? <laughs> So what supportive. he was very supportive he said well sorry, whatever Rick. man we just like to apologize to all yeah i apologize i apologize to the vinyl community too well they well. didn't have to go through this they've switch. had to go through it i can't get rachel engaged on this important vc topic junior it's like she doesn't even care about the vc anymore well, <laughs> maybe hey, what's this topic? maybe i don't know i don't know what the topic okay, is there was some sort of fake poll or something also, when just joined in after the damage, what are you talking about? What the hell are you so kids talking really about? Yeah, that we're there. That uh, your next go, go for your custom sixty yeoman outfit for Squeezie. <laughs> so you would look, hilarious. you would look adorable. You would, you would look absolutely adorable in a Star Trek yeoman's outfit, or a, like a lieutenant, like lieutenant the old, Uhura. I like the old yeah. Uhura. Yeah. Pole dancing. I don't want to know about pole dancing. No, we don't want to know about that. Old fashioned cocktail. That'll be the death of me. Holy mm -hmm. smokes. Yeah. But, you know, the trouble with booze is hangovers. I do not like oh. or enjoy hangovers in any way, shape, or form. And because I am getting older, God, my liver doesn't dance no, the way it used you can't, to. Um, I'm a cheap drunk, man. You're pretty cheap drunk now. Yeah. Well, I love jazz. I've been playing my jazz. Oh. I'll show you which ones I listen to. Sorry. Well, this is kind of interesting. William wore out his welcome at the VCOC, uh, least surprising development ever. That is interesting. That's unfortunate. Okay. Green gals. Uh, yes, uh, there's the Ryan slave girls. Yeah. Now, we're against slavery. Oh, okay. so, yeah. Everybody I knew knows that. these guys, so I won't say anything about But I listened to that. Day yeah, kind of blue. Day. That's a big, big album. That's and kind then, of everybody should have. Well, so with I've Debbie. just gone through my meager collection which is really great though yeah but um after listening to those two my favorite was well for debbie was good but i really just the vibe on this is more my vibe uh -huh. so good okay so good now oh sorry wait go a ahead. second i'm not quite finished yeah no, sorry keep about going. That. Uh, no it's okay because now were, i'm understanding what's yeah, going okay, on because you were talking about alcohol the thing is when i want when i play this I want to drink a glass of wine yes. at the same time. Yeah, it could be uh, contagious or effective so, or whatever. I didn't, though. I would like to. Okay, uh, so anyway, go on. Okay, I live near Riverside, Iowa, where Captain Kirk was born. I'll escort, escort you, uh, you know, around, a tour you around the area. I'll escort you there if you ever visit Captain Kirk. Uh, William admitted to having 17 fake accounts. Beautiful, oh. beautiful, beautiful. Oh, okay, so Ian had a poll of some kind. Yes. And the troll accounts went in messed and up the vote. And Stunty and William were teasing. So what was, the, uh, what was the what was the? Stunty and William bomb, bomb, bombed Ian's last poll with all their many troll accounts messed up the vote. It didn't go well, uh, down well in Northampton. I can see why it wouldn't. 
Uh, sorry, Sue, uh, your album Kind of Blue is overrated. Kind of blue. Rob Walker, that's your Miles oh, Davis. It was so good. Loved it. Okay, Ian et al. had an emergent stream for about 20 minutes about it. William doubled down. Steady was in contact with Ian behind the scenes, possibly with bribes of sexual favor. Wow, okay, just so wow. What was the poll about? What was the poll about? What was what was what were they inquiring about? Yeah, we need facts. Uh, even <laughs> stepfather uh, Michael po uh, Rice Patties Jr. Senior was disgusted, rightfully so. It was seemed to be of a contact. Well, Stendi, it was Stendi's birthday, so he may have been making merry and yeah. got into his, you know, his uh, French uh, cognac or whatever the hell he'd be, you know, sucking back there. It was part of a poll as a multi-week competition with a real prize for real boys. A lot of effort was put into it. They're very upset. The poll was... Uh, who is the blue oyster versus the? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh boy, you were giving stunty <laughs> troll account wrenches. Uh oh. Blue oyster covers it. Wow. Robar's cat Coolio loves kind of blue. Absolutely. Correct, Chris. Yes, correct. Coolio. Kind of blue. It's all. It's no all mod cons. Wow. Yes, moderate cons. What does that mean? Moderate conservatives. Okay. Mod cons. They're moderate okay. conservatives. Yeah. Chris is on top of it. He knows uh, what's what. But, uh, well, that's unfortunate. You know, you want to, uh, you know, help things along. I don't know if there's going to be any fallout now. I suspect not. Not really, I guess. I I'll grab Carly to come on later. Rob, that would be great. We'd that'd love to nice, see yeah. you. And now, uh, bad news on the uh, channel, friend. I've got some very sad and serious news to pass on. Renee will not be joining us today. He's got a, an aunt or something whose husband's got dementia or something, and he's got to go over there and help out. So his oh, family yeah. business is helping him out. Well, that's disappointing. Uh, Rach, I saw the new Roadhouse movie. It was almost watchable. Yeah, I wouldn't even bother with it. I just watched the original. All Mods Cons is a jam band. I saw okay. the whole, I just watched Sarah's thumbnail. Yeah. And so I don't need to see Roadhouse now. Oh, Sarah's thumbnail tells uh, Sue all she needs to know about Ro Roadhouse. Yeah. Sarah's lovely. Yeah. Uh, poor old William did not have the greatest time on Sarah's show either. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, this is horrible. Poor guy. Um. Okay, boarding now. He's on his way to New York. Have fun, oh, safe wow. travels. God bless you. Traveling mercies. Go, go, go. Uh, Thunderbirds are go. It's a great job album. It's a job. It's from the job. Well, that's lovely. That's a lovely. We love the jam. You like the jam, Sue? Uh, I remember that I like the jam. The ones I like are, the jam. Yeah, because, yeah I like the, the yeah. Eaton Rifles. That's the one my favorite from yeah. them. Because it's kind of fun. Uh, I, Rachel, I don't want Sarah to merge with me on the, in the Manosphere. I won't go willing. I can tell you that much. I can tell you that Manosphere stuff is very strange. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, David Donnelly saw that. Uh, I saw that. His game was blown out of the water. Those women were great. They, uh, well, you know, poor William, right? It's very sad. There's something, there's an overcompensating there, I think, is what's happening, in my opinion. But anyway, we wish him well, and, uh, you know, it's a shame that uh, these things have to happen. Um. Anyway, yeah, man. Yes, Eric, Mint Jolly. <laughs> so uh, we have ordered, you know what we did? We I ordered yeah. uh, Sonny Clark's uh, Cool Stratton, but yeah, it's going to uh, it's going to be about a month before it gets here. It's uh, through a third party seller okay. on Amazon, so it's not, you know, Amazon Prime where okay. it can come here in two days. We got to wait like a month and a half or so for okay, it to well, get here. Right. But you know, it was it wasn't much. It was thirty four bucks versus twenty four yeah. bucks for the one in there. But this is a classic series. Probably a better pressing. Yeah, Rob well, the wax tells well, me it's a better that, pressing. Considering I don't, I want a small collection. Yeah. So I don't want to buy a lot of records. I would like to buy a small yeah. amount of good records. Well, look at this, so, Russ Dawson. Russ That's a great record. record. It's a classic jazz album. Well, I mean, it's also, e easy to go down the store and buy secondhand a lot of jazz down there at local stores. 
Well, exactly. Like our Vinyl Envy is really good for their jazz collection down in Victoria. Yeah. Um, they have got a huge, and the, the owner is well up on his jazz. So he really helps like new yeah, uh, yeah. pick things and see. But things also in town things. here too, these guys got a huge jazz selection in Nanaimo. Oh, those guys. Yeah. But the owner isn't going to, you know, leave the counter and talk to you about the yeah. music and stuff there. Like as far as the service goes, yeah. this is quite a bit different. Than you know, well, what's okay? So, what's your schedule? Like, I'm I'm thinking, and now I might want to go into town to yeah, hit the record store. That will be tomorrow. Okay, well, I'll go tomorrow then. Yeah. Hit the store. All right. Maybe tomorrow before we go, go out, go see, down, grab a record, meet John, maybe we might our son. Meet the man child. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So you guys are good. Now the vinyl community is good. Things are. I'm starting to get information. The stuff that's giving me a sense of what, what happened. Jamie Barnes, Jamie, uh, really took stunt to your part in Vinyl Dale's last stream. Uh, the It's Just Stunt, the defense didn't work this time. Jamie would not let him off the hook. Jamie had him crucified. Um, okay, uh, other thing, Rice Paddy's Jr., Okay, they're talking about William. There's a lot of stories. We've got a stunty story we're following. Stunty, if you're out there, please watch TV shows so I can talk to you about this. Uh, you were dismantled by Chame Barnes. And Stunty, uh, God help him. I, I, he may come here. We're going to comfort Stunty. But Chame, Chame, absolutely kicking his ass. I really felt for him, but it was self-inflicted. William self-inflicted well, himself. Is. Uh, uh, who's watching the Shogun? I've heard it's good. I haven't seen it. Uh, okay, here you go. Lee Morgan. Um, I would have to look. I can't remember. We have uh, one Lee Morgan, uh, Sean. Rob is, I think, next week or something. He was he supposed to be himself. sending us a package. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you go through there, Lee Morgan, we have Sidewinder. We got uh, Sidewinder, Lee yeah, Morgan, that's the one Sidewinder. That so, uh, you know, and it's a reissue. Of course, all the stuff, well, we don't have, we have some OGs. Most of our stuff is uh, uh, reissue jazz. You know, classic series, Blue Blue Note, Tone Poets, uh, and others. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, wow. Uh, Donnelly, uh, David, it was self-inflicted over and over and over. It was a bludgeoning. The only girl he's getting after that is Rosie Palm. Rosie Palm. <laughs> Holy smoke. It sounds horrible. Okay. Um, powerful comment coming in from Bobby Gass out of Toronto, Yorkville. Let's uh, let's read this. Uh, as Bobby himself might. Okay. David Donnelly. I saw some of Sarah's stream last night. He had some of the lamest male panel counterparts I witnessed so far. It was a marathon. <laughs> All right. Well, it seemed to have gone on for a while. Uh, sorry, you might get another side. Well, I'll tell Rob to pull it. Like, you know, we're not going to double up on it. Because, you know, that wouldn't be fair, right? You know, Sean. Uh, so, but we, I want to thank you for your grace and your kindness and all that, but yeah, we do. Have, and you know what? The, the first one we have was actually gifted to us, Sidewinder, uh, by Concert Buddy. Chance gifted us that one. I'm setting up a GoFundMe to get Vinyl Richie a haircut. Is he growing his hair out? Uh, these new reissues make it nice to get, uh, great jazz, cheap and quick, eh. Cheaper, more affordably. Anyway, it's not totally cheap. 34 bucks when you're used to paying five bucks for a record the last day in the old days. You know, you go, in my I know, day. It's weird when you look at a record and this is Canadian and you're looking at 35 bucks and you go, oh, that's not bad. Yeah. And you go, well, wait a second. Yeah, it's so horrible. Uh, okay. Uh, Rice Pies Jr. has got the inside scoop. A lot of quote men, if there ever was a, I think one woman turned lesbian during the broadcast. That's uh, amazing. Uh, yes, Rach, Rob is correct. Uh, Richie is growing his hair out. Well, I respect that. It. It's been a long time coming. Uh, full of nature. Yeah, you know, Mac, you may be right about that. You, you may absolutely be on point. 
Uh, uh, Rubs has grown his hair out. Well, thank you, Dave. That's uh, kind of interesting. Uh, I want, I think we should do a poll to cite Stunty and William's fate. Hopefully nobody will tamper with it. Well, I don't think it requires that. I mean, I just, it's in the, how much, you know, fucks given? Very few. Very few. <laughs> Loki. I just don't care. It's not my show. You know, and so that's more Ian's thing. But I support Ian. We love Ian. And uh, it's a shame that, uh, you know, they've been taking, I guess they're taking this. Uh, the Who is the Who versus Electrolyte Orchestra. Who are the bands? The Who versus somebody. And you got to pick your already. favorite. Who are the bands that are that are in competition? And then I'm going to ask you who you who you would pick. Uh, I have a feeling I'd know, but let's just see. Let's just see if how oh, well I know your choice. So who were it's the who? Oh, Blue Oyster Cult. Blue Oyster Cult. Okay. So Sue. Yeah. If it's the Who versus Blue Oyster Cult, which band Jeez. do you prefer? I'm going to say you're going to go by a thin margin Blue Oyster Cult. I do like that cowbell. You like your cowbell. Yeah, yeah I'd have to say yes. So Blue Oyster Cult for yeah. Sue. For me, it's the Who all in, all the way. Love, love, love the Who. So my my vote would be the Who. There's a couple of Who songs. I think the cash prize is what made them so angry. Okay, now, who got angry? Who's angry? Everybody? Yeah. And of course, Frog Hat, Tommy. The Who. Yeah. Boom. 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 <coughs> boom. Rachel, don't make that poll. I'm not making a poll. I'm just giving you my, uh, you know, thing. Uh, cool Stratton has kick ass album cover as well. Display worth. Just, oh, yeah. That's yeah. what I was going to say. Yeah. Uh, Russ agreed. Like, even if I would like, I would buy that album just for the cover. Yeah. For it sure. was Quadrophenia versus some crap uh, BOC album. Well, is that fair? Top five bands with better names. Five. Blue Oyster Cult. Four. Back when Turner Overdrive. Three. Emerson Lake uh, uh, Electrolyte Orchestra. Two. The Who. And number one, Tad. <laughs> Tad. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? Talk about a wicked ranking. <laughs> Chris has been pretty uh, uh, up on these. Okay, rankings. I love this. Stevie's vinyl cupboard is livid, absolutely beside himself. Well, I'm so sorry, Stevie. Oh, Stevie. <laughs> I hope you're feeling better, buddy. It's okay. You know, but that's not what that's what happens with creative forces like stunt Yeah. <laughs> so who won? What did happen with the trolls? What did they do to the ball? Did that change everything? We really need someone who can come up and explain the whole thing. Okay. okay. Now, uh, Ian and Dale, Mastermind Dave, they all detected the fraud. Stevie Co Vinyl Covered was in on it. Mm -hmm. Mike Spiral saw everything. Uh, Jamie Barnes, they're all upset, and rightly so. In this well, I'm so sorry. It's stunty. It's just stunty. <laughs> it's just our stunty. Okay. <laughs> and our William, our beloved little William. Maybe William's trying too hard to get friends and he's going about <laughs> wrong and he's getting well, alienated. Well, now the B cut is, we'll be done with him. Yes. Uh, Ian has been doing this bracket since the meltdown at Rob. Well, that is, from what I understand, everything's good now. Ian's all calm, and there, everybody's. Oh God, am I getting a I tear in my eye because of all this? We're making some progress with Ian. Oh, Ian and I are yeah. pals. Yeah. Yeah, deal. Oh, yeah, the deal. Get out of the deal. But yeah, we're doing really good. Rich, I'd like to suggest we hire my mastermind Dave for an overnight role for his show. As well as detect any of this of fraud or who interference. Is, who is Mastermind Who's Dave? Who's Mastermind Dave? Which one's Mastermind Dave? Is a new character? We did not get these memos. You know, he's been doing it for my... I have no idea. I don't watch, so I don't know. Alien used to be a three-letter word before uh, RTO. True. Okay. Mega British man. True. True. I'm I'm where the things aren't as straight as the same here the same here either. Well, yeah, they're very straightforward. They're really good. Hey Loki, I heard from 4D in my uh, comments a few days back. <laughs> you can jump in on that. Chauncey said a warm hello. Uh, so it was one big competition, 
and then Stunty and William <laughs> ruined it. Well, those bastards. I've known there was trouble. <laughs> I, I've known least, there was trouble. At least Brad cares. <laughs> yes. Uh, Heavily uh, invested, Loki. <clears throat> Heavily invested. Yeah, it's not. What's the old expression? It's not my circus. Okay, who is Mastermind? Not my monkeys. Who yeah. is Mastermind Dave? I don't even know who Mastermind Dave is. I only is. know a few days. Beetle Dave. Beetle Wyoming Dave. Dave. We love Dave. Dave Wyoming I'm Dave. Not, 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 Brad Teal, we know. We know David, Safe and Sound, Texas, of well, Safe and Sound Audio, David. Texas Audio, Excursion, Texas, he's a David. David as yes. David Donnelly. Uh, Bloister Coulter, not overplayed like the who. Tony, let us remember Cowbell's song. Oh, okay. Thank Don't you. Don't Fear the Reaper is played over and over. Thank you, Brad. Dave, Mastermind Dave is Ian's co host. Oh, okay. see, okay. I don't okay. even know these see, people. Know. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Stunty is a huge Blue Oyster Cult fan. He had to get involved. Somehow I just don't believe that. Yeah, Blue Oyster Cult and Stunty. Holy smokes. Can we have more cowbell? That's like Stunty. You got a good sound, but I just got to have more cowbell. It's like Stunty and ZZ Top. Yeah, His Stunty's a big like... ZZ Top. Him and, and he loves all them... Uh, George Thorogood. Yeah. He loves all that. That's stunty music. Holy yeah. smoke. Straight up bar smashing. <laughs> yeah. Mastermind Dave's a computer in human form. Holy yeah, smoke. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, it's best, I think, for my position in life just to leave well enough alone. I'm sorry that happened to you. And I, I know what it's like to have a vision, a dream, and then to have these bon vivant free spirits. Stenty and William the pickup artist or William the plumper and it's they destroyed everything and ruined a boy's dreams of having a fun YouTube show. I like ZZ Top. I, yes. I love their that uh, documentary on ZZ Top. Yes. Brogat, you're right. I've got that uh, box set you speak of. <laughs> what time did you get up? Dear, uh, like 1 30, I think yeah. I've been up since yeah. up all night at the temple. Yeah, uh, there was some nice uh, rock zydeco music on the new Roadhouse soundtrack. Uh, study probably enjoy that. Uh, where's Randy Learner Scare with? Yes, uh, remember when Steady so this was a famous incident. Sonny sold his rare Nurse with Moon record so he could get a first press. He Leonard Skinner, the one with the flames I was talking to you about. Yeah. The ill-fated Leonard Skinner Street uh, wise uh, uh, where there and the flames are behind the deceased members of the band. It's quite ominous. Yeah. Quite ominous. Yeah, that's really weird. Uh, okay. I'm in the minority, but I believe Stunny had little to do with Polgate. I think those 70 fakes accounts with Pumper is chief to blame. Well, we're going to, when we, Stunny is around next time, we'll inquire and we'll get to the bottom of this story. Now, there's three st live streams yesterday, from what I understand. I need uh, to know which one you kids were uh, just loving and going, wow, this is the best. Uh, we had Ian. We had Vinyl Dale recently. Anyway, Vinyl Dale had okay, sorry, one. what did you say? The three top live streams. Yeah. Of Vinyl Dale. Vinyl Dale. <laughs> we had uh, uh, Ian ranking the obscure. Yeah. And we had Sarah the Raging Tomato. So those are the highlights of the week. I'm just curious, which is who? Yeah. Uh, Hi, Grant. Metal Theologian was even selling records. So I was watching his. Okay, so we're going to put Metal Theologian. So which one really captured your hearts and minds? I mean, it sounds like Ian's really worked for Loki. Loki really enjoyed that. Hi, Sean. Hi, Sean. Uh, what we won't be interfered with. Hello, prior. No, we're not doing that. Listen, Loki, do you think it's wise to even uh, <laughs> cast any sort of aspersion upon stout wreck confusion or William pumping vinyl? I just subscribed to Scoozy's channel. Oh, wow. wow, Tony, thank you. you. See anything there. There's a couple of horse videos. Prague right? goes, I've had it. Uh, it's not happening for him. He goes, That's not gonna. 
Uh, after this show, Saturday is my day off YouTube. I'm going to attempt to be productive. Well, I hope that goes good. Uh, that vote, too, will be compromised, yes. I did that last week, Eric. I had to stay off the uh, internet day. Yeah. It was good. I read a book. A whole book. Yes, you did. About the history of our local environment. It was really good. Oh, my gosh. Grant's Rock Warehouse, welcome to the show. You're welcome gonna, to join us if you'd like, Grant. You're going to do a thing with Grant in a few days. Yeah, I got it on my board. Well, next week, I should say. Uh, yeah, coming up April sometime, April and they, him and I are doing a thing. You're going to have a little chit-chat. Oh, my God. You know what side is today? <laughs> You're going to love this. Yeah. Holy shit, there's uh, the excitement in the vinyl community. Is, yeah. just, whoa. Um, my uh, Beatles book from the mono box set, Frank, Mr. Sticker Mania, kindly given it to me, along with a poster for Emotional Rescue. I've got a first press. I don't have the poster that came with it originally. I'm getting the poster with it. So it's so nice when you get an album and, you know, if it had a poster or something extra with it to have that is really good. Folks, we got a... Uh, Promotion to do here for our friend uh, Grant. Shameless quick plug. I'm going to be on Sia Tranquility, oh. Rank of the Albums of Badfinger. Great band. What a fun thing to do. Check it out. Sue, do you know the albums of Badfinger, really, the various but I did albums? Meet Joey. You met Joey Mullen. I met Joey. Yeah, and his guitar player. It was he hilarious. liked you. Yes. Yeah, we did. You, Sue was with me when I met Joey. My friend and I, well, we were young. Sheila then. was there. Sheila was there. Yeah. We uh, we just kind of stood at one side of the room. Yes. And we're like, <laughs> well, because it was me, I was like, you, it was like you the just show. Used us to get in. I the, used you to get in my get in in with Joey and into, also Jerry Shirley, another one of my room. rock nemesis, Jerry Shirley, legendary drummer. They were very nice. Yeah, they yeah, were good. You guys had fun. Well, it was fun, Joey in particular. Yeah. Uh, because great. that was my guy. I laser beamed Joey. And I, what is it with me and Joey's? I just seem to be able to connect right. with Joey's. Yeah, Joey's I awesome. love you, Joey's, wherever you may be, Joey's yeah. of the world. No Dice is my favorite. No Dice. <clears throat> uh, there's Ass, Badfinger's Ass album. Uh, no dice is one of the best. I like, uh, you know what? I like my and the one I gravitate is my one of the first albums, full LPs I ever bought with my own money as a kid. Well, somebody must have given me five bucks, but anyway, <laughs> must have right, anyway, on or something. whatever. But that I remember, and it was the magic Christian music. Straight up is a good one, straight up ass album. Yes, yes, yes. So these are some of the uh, the big things. Pete Pardo is not a member of the vinyls community. I know, but he's still much loved. He's a YouTuber, personality of some renown and respect. Richard, we got 8,000 thumbs up. Perhaps some of the people here could remove their endorsement of this show to bring it down to a more manageable number. Wow. How many thumbs up have we got? How many we got watching? We got 118 people. Unfortunately, 118 of you decided to spend some time with us. Um, okay, so we've got 21 <laughs> thumbs up. Wow, we are breaking the internet. Well, I guess could I guess you I give me a few order. more thumbs Here, I'll up? I'll show you how you do it. Oh, boy. It's just very disappointing. I give and I give, <laughs> you know, and you have you try and do your show TV and make it all fun for children. So you go here and, now and it's it all this. Makes, the lot, makes, makes the live chat go away. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Uh oh, man. Go away. Go away, little and girl. You just get the little thumbs up there. You're much too hard to resist. Oh. Go, go away, away, little girl. girl. And don't beg me <laughs> to beg you to stay. Uh, to, to. Dead Wax says that nerd cares too much about grammar. I know he's an audiophile. I was at like, but well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, sometimes we all need to be reminded because the uh, conversation was so involving, uh, so that it you know it becomes a big deal, folks. I know we have a lot of Darren Crawford fans out there, fresh off an interview, uh, with Tony Banks, Tony Banks, who keyboard player extraordinaire. Uh, formerly with the outfit known as Genesis, oh. Phil Collins, yeah. and uh, there's Steve Hackett. 
And they've they've also got uh, Mike Rutherford. Uh, they've got <laughs> Justin Cat, Phil got so many great talents, and of course, uh, uh, Peter Gabriel, famously dressing up like a flower, uh, amongst many other things. Where's the Darren interview? I just don't know. I just don't know. I'm sure Darren could put a link to it. Has it been posted yeah. yet, Darren? I <clears throat> uh, wish you were here. Good album, too. Badfinger has a Wish You Were Here album. A lot of people just think that that it's uh, going to be a different thing, you know, like uh, Pink Floyd. Yeah, Wish You Were Here. That is a good song. I know. It's an album, too, Susie. Oh, From the album of the same name. But uh, Badfinger also did a Wish You Were Here album. Okay. My thumb has been utilized, like has been received. Thank you, David Donnelly. We appreciate it. Uh, I have Wish You Were Here. It's my only bad finger album. Am I good with just that one? Possibly. I have two. Uh, I only have two. I got a greatest hits. And I've got, oh, I've got three. Uh, my friend Pat's radio, Pat brought over a bootleg. So I got a nice uh, bad finger. I think it's bad finger in Vancouver. Uh, with the original lineup in 1974, 73, and um, really good. I mean, they're great. I like Badfinger. The weirdest story of all is uh, I watched a documentary. I haven't been able to find it again on YouTube, and it was a, 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 a mortician who knew Mike Gibbons, who was a drummer, uh, the drummer. Right. Hey, you know who's cool? This guy. Hungover. Appreciate being here with me during these trying times. Chroma Docs and Radio. He Dude, I am a happily subscribed uh, member of your fan base. He needs a wrench. Yeah, well, you're getting a wrench because you deserve a wrench. You should be around more often, Chromium Dioxide. Oh, Procat, don't delete. Don't delete. Pro, 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 pro. He's a that? big guy. He's a huge guy. Is it the real guy? It's the real guy. Hey, Chromium, uh, what the hell's his real name? Uh, they call it, they got his name, his nickname. Chromium Dioxide Radio is a legend, Procat. Don't fucking time that guy. Folks, I'm going to promote his channel right now because We're uh, sorry. we got problems of, with Procat here. He's gone oh, ass. He's and I, sorry, we get so many trolls here. We get people it got stupid, but you're the real deal, man. Here it is. Here's the channel. Chromium Dioxide Radio. And I'm going to show you something. This is what you want to do. You make it go big. Look at that, folks. Happily subscribe. 2,870 plus subscribers. You should have a lot more. You should have way more than me. I'm telling you that. His show is top tier. This, he's got a handful of characters. It's like a cable access television program. He's a fellow Canadian. Helping for LGBT metal. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, incredible channel. Super good guy. Very funny. Beyond Creative, one of Fred Putterman's favorite channels, Chromium Dioxide Radio. BBQ, that's it. BBQ Shinner. Well, that's his nickname. BBQ. Anyway, BB, hang tough in there. We'll get you back out. Uh, we'll, hopefully, we'll get you back. And you know what? Uh, BB, we, BBQ, we'd love to get you on the show here one day so we can promote you and tell the kids about you and maybe get some more subscribers there. Uh, donate to, don't take my wrench away. We're not taking a wrench take away. My wrench away. Fire We're not me. taking a justice. Like, okay. Crockett, where are you leaving? <laughs> anyway, go check this guy out, man. BBQ. He's a legend. And, uh, I have subscribed. Okay. Well, he may have gotten timed out, but we got him one more subscriber. Watch his stuff, Grant. You will laugh. You will enjoy. It really is. It's like, uh, watching, uh, God, Billy Van, the legend Billy Van, the hilarious house of Frankenstein. If anybody knows that program, that's chromium dioxide. If Don't, anybody wants to time somebody out, like, because they think it's just do it for like 60 seconds or something and to what's happening or to that person, but not 600 seconds <laughs> or a day or whatever. After All that. right, Edward, have a good one, buddy. Thanks for coming by, helping us out, bud. Uh, Chris, you forgot to mention anybody <laughs> use semicolons. That is a we thing. Love you, Edward. Take love Procat. <laughs> Billy Van for Party Game was the best. Darren Crawford. Yeah, you had the hilarious uh, House of Frankenstein uh, show. Uh, listen to JC, uh, Jesus Christ Superstar for Palm Sunday as a very lapsed Catholic. Yeah, uh, Jesus Christ Superstar is a great album. Of course, are you listening to movie soundtrack or the... Uh, original theatrical cast, you know, with uh, 
uh, what's his name uh, from uh, God? Uh, Ian Glover from Deep Purple. I got to go to the Badfinger premiere. I'll be back after the show. Yeah, Grant, Rocket Man, Rocket. Rocket Man, that somebody should do that. Uh, why is Scoozy a ghost? Well, she's Mrs. Ghost. <laughs> well, I was Mrs. Like. Ghost for a while, and then it now out. she's Scoozy. Yeah. People nicknamed me that. So. Yeah, she's, there you go. Uh, it came out even before there was a stage play for it. Ian Gillian. Rachel, who you're thinking of? Thanks, Stoner. That's who's on there. What the hell are I saying? Anyway, yeah, I was saying some other guy. But, yeah, Ian Gillian's in there and, you know, how to try not to get worried, try not to turn on to problems. That's a big one. Yes, that's so good. Yeah, and I like the way it goes. Ugh. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, who was who played G-Links? Ian Gillian. Ian Gillian's Jesus. And there's Judas Iscariot. All the cast, all the Bible characters you love and enjoy reading about. Hey, Clyde Dubar, welcome to the show. 122 watch, and we're trying to get 50 thumbs up on things here. Don't know if we'll be able to do it. We hope. Live, right after you, Nancy Bear. Air music. All right. 47. I need three more. Somebody, if three of you haven't given a thumbs up, if you could do it, we'd appreciate it. Thanks so much. Uh, Murray Head was Drew, Judas. Yeah, Murray Head. I remember when he did uh, One Night in Bangkok and the World Shore Oyster. I love that he had a big hit with that. Uh, Jesus Christ, there's no, the Rift to Heaven on Their Minds is phenomenal. Yeah, it's good music, man. It's uh, We got it in the collection. In the J's. Jesus Christ, superstar. The only uh, thing uh, kind of doctrinally... Uh, you know, or problematic a couple of issues. People want to get Jesus all horn dogging with uh, Mary Magdalene. If he does, uh, goodbye salvation. You got yourself a whoremonger as your savior. So that's probably on the outs. Uh, so that's probably doctorly questionable. And then the other problem is uh, that uh, Jesus Christ Superstar, there is no resurrection. Of course, it's the a crucifixion, the burial, and the resurrection, wherein lies our hope. It is the gospel. It is the good news. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Uh, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, specifically with the OG is one of my favorite records of all time. It is fantastic. I remember hearing it in 1971, going over to my friend Rob Reiner's house. He had a copy of it, and it was so good. Yeah, I don't know how to love him. <laughs> wow, powerful. Hey, you. Rich, this is old homecoming week. This is what you sing before Rob comes on every day. Yeah. I can't believe poor chromium dioxide. And of all the people that kill him, it was Edward. <laughs> it was so Sweet weird. Edward, innocent <laughs> Edward. Well, the thing is, Brockhead never posts his <laughs> sticks his head above water. Chromium dioxide, leaving. it's a great channel. I can't tell you how good the guy yeah, is. It's really fun. Hopefully he can just hang around and get back in here. He got timed up for 10 minutes. So we'll 10 minutes? Yeah. Holy fuck. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Prog hat there. Some fucking sipping bourbon straight up. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Boom. Just so for the record, we forgive yeah. Prog hat and we're not mad at Prog hat. No, we're not mad at Prog hat. Don't but... sue us Prog hat. Yeah, litigation blues, man. Sue me, sue you litigation blues. blues. Uh, can you do that spiel as William Shatner, please? Hey, the Shats just coming in with his 93rd birthday, which mm -hmm. tells us he's not going to be with us much longer. And I'm boy, gonna be, oh boy. I might cry oh, I'll get I'll be sad when he goes. I like him. He's my favorite personality, even though he's a big, boisterous, I'm the star in you, but he is. That is, suck yeah. it up. I mean, I would just, if I'm with the guy, he goes, I'm Bill Shatner. Who the fuck are you? I go, I'm nobody. <laughs> I'm nobody. Yeah. Uh, uh, Rich, what do you think of The Last Temptation of Christ? Uh, yeah, I, I think it's, uh, I never watched it. I never watched it. Uh, does he get the girl? Let me let me tell, ask you that. Or does there, <laughs> is there a scene where he's tossing it or anything like that? Oh let me know. God. You know, kind of like, oh, I'm Mary, you know, just thinking, you know, thinking hard on oh, Mary, thinking very <laughs> hard about Mary Magdalene. Oh, God. Uh, so what happened with William? I missed it. We all missed it. No one saw it. 
Uh, Chaz put up a great Grail Hall video. I'm jealous of the last one. Rich is uh, following the adventures of our good friend Chance over at Concert Buddy. Uh, David Donnelly says, uh, William brought a knife to a gunfight, got mowed down by some lovely ladies. Yeah, so we've got two. The William thumbnail is terrible. Who's got a William thumbnail? Is that on Sarah's channel? Is there a William thumbnail? When was Shatner's last acting role? I'm not sure, Bill. I'm not too sure. He did a he's done a documentary on his He's life. doing documentaries but, and um, stuff. I, I think he's the last thing is a documentary on himself. Yeah, but I don't think that has been uh, published yet, like put in the Yeah. Book. Uh Eric Wong in the house. Hey Eric, welcome to the show. Uh, I heard Shakira's new album is supposed to be good. Shakira, we'll talk to Anthony about it. AJK will give us the insight. Uh, here's a Turkish Israeli cover version. Just goes through so pretty amazing. Thank you, Joel. Uh, Rachel, he is parroting you. Well, good for oh, him. It's a thumbnail probably for his show tomorrow because he's taking uh, that oh. 6 a.m. spot tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, as steady as you, Rachel, in your chair. Uh, William Thumbnail Stunty, as you, Rachel, in your chair. Well, I think it's fantastic. <laughs> Rachel, it's on his channel. It's very neat. Well, you know, what is that uh, imitation of serious form of flattery? I think you, know, so. you only have one life to live. You might yeah, as well what live, do I care? live your best life. Yeah, live your best life, William. Yeah. You're doing a good thing, yeah. you know. Uh, let's go invite, get Rob Walker up here. I love Rob. I don't have the, the Transformative Man. I need it. I need that album, Transformative Man. Rocket album? Man. You know. The, his speaking uh, album, Yeah, his speaking version, Rocket Man. You know, flying up here alone, you know. Uh, he's doing voices for The Unexplained on Netflix. So that was very frightening. Uh, I do not. I, I do not like him, Sam. I am. I do. Hey, Rob, how you doing, buddy? Oh, Chris. I cut us. It's good. No. <laughs> All right, buddy. So uh, let's do a thermometer read on the state of the vinyl community. Yeah, West Coast, East Coast, Transatlantic. What's happening in England? What's happening in uh, the U.S.? Where are we? Is there any fixing this disaster? And what the hell's going on with vinyl Richie's hair? Let's take it on. Yeah, there's a lot to get through there, Rachel. There is, yeah. <laughs> a lot to unpack. Yeah, that's one one way of putting it. Nice to see you, Rob. Yeah. Hey, uh, thank you for your kind words about my singing the other day. It was good. You did great. Yeah, we enjoyed that. You got a good voice. Yeah, you have a great voice. Uh, English people can sing. There's English. There's music in your veins, Slat. That's. I bet you can control it a bit better when you're not. Uh... A few yeah, I was acting a bit daft, but that that video was only up for about sixteen hours. It's only for that that will go on my Patreon when I've got my Patreon. Oh, yeah. Okay, are you going to do one? No. <laughs> oh, you could. You could. Yeah. We're very gullible. All right, buddy. Yeah, I am Sam. Did have Beatles music? The whole thing was about that uh, with Sean Penn <laughs> as the Beatles fan. Yeah. Yeah, we're watching. I think he was on. Was it Friday tea time? Ian and um, his friend Dave put a, yeah. a video up where they were. So, do you know what's been happening? The, so, it's been going on for about six, probably over six months. Okay. Ian started a, so he wanted people to nominate an album. Yes. And then he'd do a draw, and the albums would go up against each other. Okay. So I joined in, I had the Stone Roses and I was up against something and it won and then it was up against Boston's debut and it lost. So, and what he's been doing is, so the people who watch the stream, they can vote. So, um, and I think we're in the quarterfinals now, but I, I didn't actually see the, the programme, but going off what Ian was saying, the the figures didn't add up. So usually they might get, 60 or 70 votes maybe and there was like 150 or something mm -hmm. yeah so it's as though it was sort of hacked by uh, the, suspecting it was hacked by uh, william and stunty a combination of both of them so yeah. so then so obviously it's been running for quite some time so ian's a bit upset about it and then 
Stevie's vinyl cupboards upset about it as well. And okay, uh, well, okay, are they going to be okay? Is Stevie okay? Uh, obviously, my concerns, my heart goes out to Stevie yeah. at this difficult time. Yeah, uh, well, by me, he's a big fan of Quadrophenia, so it was yeah. Quadrophenia against is it called Secret Messages by yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, so you know, we expected Quadrophenia to win that, but then I think William has been up to mischief, so I'm not sure what's going to happen there. Well, so. William, here's the interesting thing about William. He's not really vinyl community at all. He's mm -hmm. just a peripheral agent that hangs around in a very limited extent, and now he's come into kind of uh, the center of things and is uh, creating a, a bit of a stir. But I suspect that it's short-term duration as the yeah. novelty yeah. relatively quickly wears off. Now, Apart from this dream, which is obviously your favorite, but uh, it, when it comes down to Ian versus the uh, Vinyl Dale versus, yeah. oh, I don't know, Invisible Ray, and uh, there's probably one other one that I should be mentioning. What, in the UK? Yeah. Uh, I don't think Oh, Jamie is. does one. Jamie does one. Oh, Jimmy, yeah. Well, they're okay. all different. They're all different, aren't they? So yeah. But do you yeah. have one that you go? This is me. Like I, this is Manchester Blue. I'm coming in. I'm got. I'm heading over. Um. Well, can I well, ask yeah. Wait. What's while well, Rob's thinking? Okay. Go so ahead. So this album thing, that's cool. It's like you. They take a poll on two albums, and then the one that wins goes into goes the into next the poll. next round. Yeah. yeah. Goes the next round. This is like a sports. It's a round robin. Yeah, it's a round robin. Yeah, it's yeah. like the FA Cup, isn't it? That so, is a great yeah. idea. That is really fun. Yeah. So by if anyway, I'm trying to get, star, I'm trying to get to Rob to commit, so I know which one. If I'm going to start watching one of these, it's going to be up to Rob. He's got to one? get me involved. Invisible Ray. No. Uh, Ian Rankin's uh, girl, Vinyl Dale, Vinyl yeah. Dale, or or Tammy Barnes as a regular supporter. This is I'm um, very curious. probably out of those, probably maybe Jimmy, maybe Tammy, Tammy. Yeah, now we're I mean, yeah, he, Ian's, so Ian's got a really nice thing going. He's he has probably seven or eight people going on there showing records from yeah. the year. And it's on for a couple of hours, and then yeah. they go off screen and slag you off. So it's a good show, you know. Yeah. <laughs> now I hope there. Now have they? Is there any slowing down of the slagging me off? I don't know. I don't know. I'm only. Up, I'm, only up, <laughs> well, I'm hoping. I mean that they would slow down a little bit, but uh, I understand. I'm so annoying, and it, I listen. I'm a big. I'm a big superstar YouTube celebrity now. <laughs> yeah. I understand uh, it. Rachel, we're all superstars, you know that. Yes. Well, not everybody. That's not true, Rob. Yeah. Afternoon. I'm only every other Sunday, though. There's uh, Jimmy himself, Jimmy. Yeah. So oh, yes. if Jimmy, so if Jimmy's there, Jimmy's real got an, another one who's got a really nice kind of thing going. Yeah. He's quite. I know he's not not everybody's cup of tea, but he's, he's got, quite, cup of tea. It's he's got quite a nice. He's got quite a nice way about him, and yeah. and. Um, so over the last couple of months, he's been having these sort of um, ranking. He, everyone's ranking, aren't they? They're all rankers over there. Okay, is it important to rank, Rob? Are you starting to get into the ranking phenomena? I think the thing we're ranking is it's just a, an opportunity, an excuse to talk about music, isn't it? So it, it's, it's good fun as well, isn't it? Yeah. You know, people have got different opinions, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, but um, the only thing, so I've kind of, I reached out to Ian and we've kind of come to a, an agreement, so agree to differ on some things, but there's not yeah. going to be any, any sort of animosity. I don't, I don't want to be dragging that out. And Ian doesn't want that either. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. So that, yeah. that's, as far as I'm concerned, that's over. I mean, you can still sort of do a little bit of ribbing and, and take the mickey a little bit, you know, we're all. We all don't mind a little bit of that, do we? When it comes to Simon's, I think Simon's, for me, the problem is Invisible Ray. Okay, so it, now what's it, happening with Invisible Ray? No, I it, had heard he's reformed, is he, is he's he, a new man, is, uh, he's, he's had over. a born-again experience. Yeah, I mean, he can be okay, Ray. I mean, but if you if you invite him onto your stream, 
yeah. there's always a chance that he may say something that's yeah. not really cricket, if you like. Yeah, so I know he can be. But the thing happen. with Simon is he doesn't want to, um, you know, he doesn't want anyone to be. So he, I think he's quite. I'm going to say lax with his, you know, or the control or, uh, of the people that are on yeah. there. So uh, that that's one of the reasons I st I'm staying away really from that one. But good luck to Simon. He's he's got a good thing going there. I have no issue with Simon, quite frankly. He just talked some smack about me, but he apologized. Said, oh, done you wrong, right, Joe? Done you wrong. <laughs> and so I go, that well, that's fine, Simon. You know, and then when you move on from that. So I honestly I don't have an issue with the guy. Ray yeah. is just and even Ray, I like Ray, you know, but he's like, but he's an out of controller. He's absolutely out of control. Yeah. And uh why do we care? Because they're two Casamicas. We are we have seen the enemy. The enemy is us. We are the UK. We are all one. Don't you don't you see what's happening here? We're all one vinyl community filled with yeah. love and warmth and kith and kin for the love. I think of I think the thing is there's room true for everybody. And you're always gonna get if you if we're just sitting here all day talking about yeah, press yeah. Ends, you might as well go and watch that safe and sound nobody. You know what I like? I admired how Tom I come off on all this. Real principled bloke. I have buried my flag of contempt and have goodwill <laughs> towards him always. This yeah. is what we need more of in our vinyl community. Nice. Rice Patties Jr., that is a fantastic, a fantastic uh, move forward. You know, we love the Rice Patties here, and I'm hoping that w one day we'll get Rice Patties back. I'm not holding my breath, Rob. But I just would love that young man to make his way I've, back. I've classed yeah. Jimmy Barnes. Yeah. As, I've classed Jimmy Barnes. He's quite. He's probably one of the the best sort of characters in the in the VC in the yeah. UK. Anyway. Yes. Yeah, I think he's pretty good. It's Jamie. It is. Yeah. Irish. Jamie is not. Jamie is. He's like in Birmingham or somewhere. Okay. Or no, I think I sent him some VCLT and he sent me some. I think he. If I remember yeah. rightly, I don't want to give his address away, but I think he's like Derbyshire, around, you know, in Derbyshire. Uh, Derbyshire. Everybody's in Derbyshire. And see who your people are from Derbyshire. Yeah. Uh, Rice Paddy says, appreciate it. I just want to say my piece about two overt trolls here in the VC who sabotaged the for a voting contest. Now, Stunty can play that. I'm in Chester. Chesterfield, not Birmingham. I didn't say Birmingham. But I said around there, like Wolverhampton or something. No, you said Birmingham. All right. Well, okay, Birmingham. But anyway, he's not Birmingham. He's North Derbyshire. Well, Sue's South Derbyshire, her people are from uh, Long Eaton. Mm -hmm. Your people, her great greats is pictures up on the in the city hall there when what you go in. Kent? Don't I have, don't I have you got side? ancestry in Kent too. You're all over England, girl. I'll, I'll let's yeah. say, please. Yes. Um, so Jimmy Barnes, I think it's, I'm not sure whether it's tonight or next Sunday. If you've got a couple of hours to spare, then. I, I got a couple. We got go, a couple and watch it, go and watch Jimmy Barnes's um, ranking. Yeah. And also Thursday evenings, ranking the obscure and Simon on a Friday. So. Wow. Uh, great, great uh, cures for insomnia. Okay. Well, I'm understanding that uh, Rice Paddy Jr.'s dad, uh, stepdad, Michael, also mad, and for the first time uh, since he moved away, they're in total agreement. So a silver lining because of Stenty and William, and I swear to God, I hope we can get Stenty because <laughs> we can talk to Stenty, maybe give Stenty a dressing down and try and – do you think there's repentance possible for Stenty? No, I mean, Stenty's French, so I yes. you know, very, very little love there. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, very unlikely – in that event, but we'll talk to him about next time we see him. A Frenchman living in Sweden. I mean, have you ever heard anything so ridiculous? Well, I mean, it's Europe, isn't it? Uh, thank God for Brexit. Uh, good can't, things are um, happening. Can't Ian just redo the poll? Like, do another... Do it, redo poll. it, and... and just start from... Uh, I think, and I think if they redo it, they're worried that it'll get the same kind of thing, so they might have to do something private, you know, on the... Private... I I Ian should do a Patreon. Okay, now, speaking of trouble, troublemakers, um, the, the, with egos, 
that can't be quelled. Eagles and cats. Here is our next guest, Rob the Wax. Rob Wax, uh, uh, double barrels coming in, locked and loaded, as we say in the business. Welcome, Rob. We are doing a thermometer read with our special guest, Rob Walker. Let the music say its piece. And uh, so, so with that in mind, Rob, uh, we're doing a kind of a, a, a situation here. But here's the problem. And I need you to address this. This is right off. I don't want to throw you in the deep end of the pool right away, especially without your water wings. But you, this is something I want you to read. And please tell me why Stunty may, in fact, be a, quote, belland. Well, well, first of okay. all, Rachel. Yes. First of all, who is Jimmy Barnes? I don't know. Chave. It's our Chave. I, I mean, I, I'm being honest. It's Jave. Jave is a rising star. Jave. In, in the Beacock. Jave. Okay. Now he's our friend. He's hey, 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 hey. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Hold on. Could you think so much of yourself that you come in here with your own made up language and terms for things? And yes. think everyone here understands what you're talking about. No, it's yeah, a bell end. Yeah. It's a bell end. It's a bell end. If you're a bell end, it means you're a bit of a prick. Okay. Oh, well, okay. Hey, Rob, hey, okay, Rob, well, hold on. Rachel, is there enough money in the budget? To hire Rob Walker as a translator as for a the translator for the UK euphemisms. people. Euphemisms. Yeah. So the end of a bell. Now, where, do you know the uh, etymology of this word, Rob? Its origins, where Rachel, it came from. Yes. Rachel, can is you, it, do, a is it Rachel, is it can you do a T-shirt with "Who's Jimmy Barnes" on it? Oh, oh, wait, yeah. wait. Yes, wax. I, if I had to guess what a bell end is, it's when Jimmy rings a bell to command yeah. people to his end. His pub, his bear okay. end. Could be, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Frederick has given us the true meaning. Okay, for well, where's Frederick? Let's find Frederick. Uh, he's got it. The head. Oh, oh dear. The head of a penis is a bell end. Is that is that what it is, Rob? Like, are you, so it, would this mean more? Is it anti-Semitic almost in some level yeah. for the circumcised? <laughs> Be, yeah. yeah, I've never even oh, thought about it, but now that I'm thinking about it, I'm picturing it, the member uh, swollen, enlarged, excited, even rampant, and hey, I Rachel. am picturing a large helmet. Yes. Hey, Rachel, I'm all for uh, like a fundraiser yes. to send all our discarded foreskins over to Jimmy. <laughs> oh, That's oh. biblical. Uh, now it's uh, very vulgar. Look at that uh, trophy award winner, uh, lifetime achievement peanut gallery, proudly <laughs> customized for <laughs> Rob Walker, uh, a deserving win and chosen by your peers, Rob. That's the thing about it. Yeah, both of you guys, we've got both oh, lifetime achievers both. here. Both you kids chosen by a a party of your peers, yeah. a now, council of your peers, Rachel. Yes. No, no good deed goes unpunished, but I have, I received something in the mail, I believe, from you and Sue. Oh, already? Oh. Yes, but okay. I don't know if it came out the way that you think it came out. Okay, let's uh -oh. see. Uh-oh. <laughs> let's see what happened. So you were nice enough to send me something from your merch store. Yeah. It's a nice um, hoodie, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I I am no one to wear stuff with me on it, but yeah. <laughs> look how tiny it is. <laughs> oh, oh, that's hilarious. That's tiny. <laughs> <laughs> if I wear this, people are going to think, why did that guy make a hoodie with his face on it? <laughs> so tiny. Uh, Rachel, this is the bell end of, of hoodies. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Rob, you know what you can do with that? Just put some thumbtacks and stick it on your wall. Stick it on the wall head. is art. Oh my God. Did you have a little nephew or anything? Wait, you know, oh, Rachel, I wish I got it last week because when Jim and I drove through Central California, which is our bread basket, I could have put it on a scarecrow there. What scared all the crows away? Now, Rob, you know, you can wear that, uh, you know, after the show, like well, when you get home from work. 
You can put it on like a pair of jammies. Like, when Dude, I, can when you I get in there like, and start fixing that for us? I right come up like Mr. Well, Rogers. Design, we got to make it bigger. Well, there's future. a couple of different ones there. Well, but I wanted to get raw. Yeah, but that shouldn't happen. The it's got to be a full size hoodie. So, yeah. The cheaper hoodie had the bigger. I don't picture. know. Well, how does it look? Put it on and just see it as a, so we get a <laughs> sense of it if the item is actually worn. All right, let's see. I didn't want to overwhelm Rob. Well, because... yeah, it could have been overwhelming. Okay, and we're going to go to Walker. Oh, take your time, Rob. Just... Look, his head doesn't. Fit. We're going to go, Rob Walker, to evaluate once it's settled in. <laughs> okay, take your time. Okay. Uh, okay, I think it's okay. Um, I think I think we're okay. Hang on, I'm going to move you up by me, you just so we can see it. Like yeah, it up. looks. Good. <laughs> <laughs> it actually looks good, and the fact that it's right there, <laughs> Saturn. Now it's going to get awfully warm for you, you but like uh, I tell you, I think it's. Uh, what do you think, Rob? The scale is not as bad as the uh, first envision. No, it. no, it, it, it's, oh, it's okay. Right bad. There, the, okay, the scale is as bad. Yeah, it's just well, because because yeah. I'm. I guess it's more for a woman, like <laughs> for her, but, uh, <laughs> like for if you had a bosom, it kind of looks like, like, like if I wore it, it would be complimented by my bosom. It, it's like a bib. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, anyway, you're going to get too hot with that on. Well, you know, the whole point of this, Rob, is it's the thought that counts. Okay, no. well, done. Here we go. Make Rob ink. The next hoodie should be a picture of Rob wearing that hoodie. <laughs> uh, I love it. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm getting dizzy. All right. Wow. Oh, oh thanks, Eric. Oh, wow, that is just... <laughs> <laughs> all right we got to go to the design you know, shop on that it really doesn't work out very well like we sent uh baggy that uh, panther yeah broken leg yeah, we're not good at vclt are we no ah mm -hmm. uh, okay good uh where the where, where to go okay um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh rob walker what do you think would you like to have your likeness on uh some rachel's ghost merch yeah, yeah. Wax has never looked better, has he, than he looks at the moment, I think. Thank you for Surface spins. It looks like a quality garment. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I, I, there's one big test to see how good a garment is. Yeah. Yeah, this one works. <laughs> That'll work. That'll be good. Holy shit. Well, we'll, we'll get you another one out. We got to get him another bigger image out you there. You horseback for riders know what we Holy do. Holy shit. Anyway, but, we got to go in there. Go ahead, Rob. So why, why is everyone always saying that I wear a wig? What, what's all that about? They're just jealous. No, no, they aren't saying you, hair. No, they aren't saying you have a wig. I, I didn't interpret that way. It was like we had Rob Walker look alike hair that we could market for people. All right. Okay. That's what I interpret as. Think, he, think he's always having a dig, isn't he? That remember that channel? He, we don't really see him very often. He's a bit snarky, isn't he? Dead wax. Oh, dead wax, Randy. Yeah, he's yeah. funny. Uh, hanging out lately. Yeah, he, he was good yesterday. Him and Charlie. We had Charlie Lauder in. Having a All right, okay. Charlie was chat. really not impressed with Sarah, which was interesting. He feels she's a fake and a phony. Oh, she's Charlie. She's, she's uh, She's very nice, isn't she? Isn't she? She's a lovely lady. Yeah, she's so, very nice. so we love her, but uh, you know, this is the thing. Uh, they said no, uh, Rob. What they said? They said you are a wig. <laughs> so there, so that's more what it is. Yeah. All these Rob. Anyway, uh, Wax. Good to have you here. Uh, you've uh, you're just coming down, starting to recuperate with your time. Which Jim, Sue and I are on the road later today, heading into Sydney, maybe into Victoria, buy some records. Um, there is a lot going on. No show tomorrow here, but William's got one tomorrow. So uh, I think that'll be something for people. Rachel, to watch. I'm, I'm Rachel and Sue. I'm Rob. I'm going down to London on, on Wednesday. I'm staying with my son, okay. you know, over Easter. Yes. So if there's a possibility, if, if we're really struggling for something to do, might actually come in from London and 
You can have, uh, have a visit with us. What day would that be? What day well, I'm going down on Wednesday, and I'm there oh, okay. till I'm there till Tuesday. So, oh, that'd be great. But his, his girlfriend's from Liverpool, but she's coming up to Liverpool for a day or two. So it's just me, me and Alex. So we're going to go record shopping and stuff oh, like. Oh, you know what? If you could live uh, that, that would be incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Now here's the interesting thing about all that. You know, Rob being a Mancunian. Mm -hmm. And it was the greatest respect. But when they talk about Liverpool, because they're Lancasterians, mm -hmm. yeah. he, he still has the, like, the, you have a very Liverpool, like it's the Pule. You know, it's your accent comes in with the Pule. I can't, I can't, I can't believe that my son yes. is dating someone from Liverpool. I mean, it could be worse. He could be dating someone from Yorkshire. So, yes. <laughs> what or America? Okay, we got more trouble for you. As if this wasn't enough, oh, right no. out of right out of Detroit. Look out, yeah. Ann Arbor, Michigan, folks. Yeah, he's a he's a veteran, isn't he, uh, Randy? He's one of yeah. my favorites. Randy's one of all of our favorites. He's uh, really starting to turn his life around. He had his bouts with alcoholism, obviously. and uh, But now he's doing so much better. He's holding down a job. Yeah. And that's really the first sign, the first, I don't know, stand, tent pull, the first stake that you want to batten down your tent with, Randy, and you'll be able to make a useful living. Uh, at this point. So there's a lot of hope for Randy right now. Hopes are running high. I like, I like all these old timers, you know, like Bobby Gass and Randy. Is Randy older than Bobby Gass? Uh, I don't think Randy so. is <laughs> much younger than Bobby Gass. Randy's just a kid. Randy's like 48. He's very yeah. young, very young guy. Yeah. Uh, maybe Ian can fill it in tomorrow. Yeah, it's a possibility. Ian could go. Uh, or maybe I could contact Ian to do that. Yeah. Uh, I didn't quit drinking. I've never been a quitter. <laughs> uh, I'm no quitter, man. I'm no quitter. Who the hell you doing? A quitter. Randy on fire today. Holy smokes. But uh, yeah, we had a we had a good show yesterday. It was fun. We had. Um, Leon uh, Gullard in uh, oh, from the comfort nice young man, man, very pleasant, and mm -hmm. uh, we wish him well. And uh, hopefully, we'll see some sales go his way for his new album. Yeah. But then we had Sarah. Sarah's so good, very enjoyable lady, well spoken, a lot of fun, and uh, I don't know she brings some good energy into the environment. Uh, yeah. Face, yeah, but the day before that, we had William briefly because did you hear, Rob? We're getting sued. Uh, we're in, well, we got it. We had there's some a pending. There's, an there's a pending. It's a, no, it's a pending lawsuit against the program. I oh, believe oh, oh. Massey and uh, Skullcap uh, here are uh, co litigants in this situation. It's funny, I wasn't mentioned in the uh, no. Uh, uh oh. oh. Hold on, look out. We got problems and it's going to have to be taken on. This is for you. Uh, you got to deal with Bobby now. No, oh, no, Bobby's got the best um, hair, hasn't he, in the VC? Yeah, the best hair in the VC as voted by a panel of his yeah. peers. I was, I was absolutely gutted not to win that. I thought I was going to get a hat trick. It was oh, close. wow. Well, the funny thing about that, we had this thing, if people don't know the program, you're just joining us, uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up. That helps us. But the other thing, we had this award show, and the, the nominees, and Rob came up. You were the only one to come up, and you won the damn thing that you were up. You that just happened to be there. That was a great Totally to serendipitous. It was unplanned. I knew, I knew about winning that, Rachel. It was obvious. Yeah. Right? I am. I'm hoping I can delay the trials. <laughs> as well as well. So we're dealing with Chris Hill. He's a, a great guy from West Virginia, but he's very upset with the program. And not only that, but he's reported the channel. Again, the channel's been reported. No. And it just goes on and on, Rob. And no. can you speak of a kind word to uh, England as well? Don't report the channel. I know Simon and William were talking about it. Uh, no. Can you try and uh, speak a kind word? Honestly, to I think yes. like Simon's stream, yes. we, all, we all kind of need each other. If one of us wasn't here, yes. you know, there's always bits of fun to be added in yeah. each other's expense. So 
Just yeah. don't take it too seriously. Just roll with it, really. Really yeah. good advice. Hey, Rachel, I've been summoned by a British moron. It's Jamie. And Jamie <laughs> is the got a comment for Rob the Wax. Let's see what he says. Hey, moron. Uh, a hat trick here in at least North America pertains to hockey. When a hockey player scores three goals during the game. I realize you follow... Foitball, Foitball is it called? Jamie. But I mean, it's more prevalent in hockey for a player to score three goals than in soccer. So understand. Okay. Well, your if one of this is going well. Rob, you're in a group now that consists of William, the, the character, and Stunt. Why, wait, wait. why are you associating yeah. me with uh, those guys? Well, here's why. Jamie came in and we got bad news from England, out of England. Did you hear the news? There's bad rocking tonight. Wait, what wait, happened? wait, wait. The bad news is a bunch of guys are going to get on a stream and complain about shit? Is that the bad no, news? No, that's oh. not the bad news. The bad news is worse than you can possibly even imagine. Ian, our friend Ian, uh, it had a great idea to do a shootout between the Who and Blue Oyster Cult. It was very close. Yeah, but, but it was the culmination of months of work. It was uh, months of work that yeah. had been building and building and getting better and stronger and greater with each second that passed. But then, Stunt T and William the Pumper Pimper, him <laughs> and Stunty caused trouble. And ruined everything. They, they ruined everything. And well, uh, Stevie's final cupboard is livid. And you've got Michael, even Michael, poet, not poetry, but Michael, the the Patty's guy. He's he's mad. Uh, oh, he's hold angry. On, hold on, Rachel. Yeah. And you're let's, in let's, with that. Let's pretend that this, whatever Ian was doing, would never, ever happen. Okay. And are those people usually just mad anyway? The patties, the cupboard. Well, some of them are. Rob, why? Listen. Yes. We need to find, maybe Dr. Robert can recommend an expert to remove the stick up of all these British guys' yes. butt, including Jimmy. No, no. I just I go. Mean, no. I know you're just characterizing them, Wax, but sort of 75 to 80% of the time, Yes. Uh, they're just talking about music and having fun together. Yeah, it's about the music, right? Yeah, occasionally we're going to, obviously, you're such a big superstar. Your yeah. name's going to get mentioned, isn't it? Yes. It well, will. You happen. know what? Yeah. Here, but other than here, go to my streams. I don't talk about any of these guys. Never. Well, yeah. yeah okay. No. Now, Jamie Barnes, you had a great showing on Simon's stream the other night. This is from Joel, the star of power. And Big E, Ian, follow through. That's what Stunty does. He ruins everything, even sweet. Well, well I'm hoping we can get Stunty on. on in a bit. Rachel, just like you, I have my minions, and they reported back to me okay, that the biggest, the biggest thing from that stream was not all the British guys complaining. Yes. It was a meltdown by the flipper. That dude had an epic meltdown. Flipper where melted down where? In England? No, on the stream that all the British guys were on, and he uh, he did an epic meltdown. Oh, it was no. Epic. Oh, no. Okay, so, oh, wow. On the Vinyl Dale Was show. it on the Vinyl Dale show? Yeah, you can pull it up and watch. Oh, hold on. I'm not doing that, but I will do this. I am going, Rob, are you okay up there? Look at what happened to him, Rob Walker. It's our friend. He, he oh. kind of froze like, you're like that for a little bit. Okay, now here's the thing, <laughs> Jamie. Yeah. We love Jamie. It, yeah. it, it's such an epic meltdown that in any lawsuit proceeding, it could be used as a character. Uh, whatever. On Vinyl Dale's show last Friday, Rob the Wax is correct. Okay, if this happened, now well, here's what I'm thinking maybe Vinyl Dale can have the dailies. He could have his daily awards and Meltdown of the Year could go to William as an early nominee. 
<laughs> I think it's a great idea. It's almost like the flippers on a meltdown tour of the VC. Yeah. Didn't you have one on your stream too? Oh, look at this. Charles White says blunt and accurate, Jamie. Blunt and accurate. Yes, Rachel. William came up. We asked him to apologize for his part in vote gate. And he essentially went bananas. He went nuts. Oh, no. Jamie, you, you provoked the beast. He's unstable. Hey, is banana, bananas is a term I understand, Jimmy. <laughs> bananas. <laughs> but I'll He's tell you, this, this dude single-handedly is giving us enough video evidence yes. to have him as a character reference in the trial yeah, that was going to be happening be. here because of West Virginia. Yes. I think I think what it is with William is at first there was a slight bit of novelty, wasn't there? But the, the more we're getting to know him, I think we're beginning to understand that he probably is oh, in Rob. need of medical help. Rob, did you see his little visit yesterday in the vehicle when he was driving? No, no it was a couple of days day ago. before yeah. yesterday? No, I didn't see oh. that, no. You, you know, I'm seriously. It wasn't a strong I'm very careful because I've been accused of needing psychiatric help, of using that as a determination. Yeah. yeah. But it's very easy to see that that dude's people yeah. skills. He he doesn't yeah. know how to read the room. I don't really have any any dealings with him. I'm not subscribed to his channel, so but I did. I have his name seems to crop up all the time. He's busy screen. working. He's trying to make a, a right way for himself, a uh, shelter in this store. But it's a very so the final community dog. You can get sort of a little bit of action, but it's a very niche, very small amount of people, isn't it? It always it's is. Yeah. It always is. It invariably is. Rob Walker. You know, if you want to reach a large audience. Be nice, be, like, be friendly, be personal. Melinda, Melinda Murphy, people like yeah. that. They're the people with the and waxed, you know, these yeah. friendly people. Mm -hmm. All well spoken. Well spoken indeed. He he joins a long line of people that have stumbled through this nonsense. <laughs> yeah, we've we've seen a few come and go, haven't we? Yes. <laughs> yes. Right, I'm gonna go now, Rachel, because all I'm, right, Rob. I'm only contracted for half an hour. Well, well so thank nice. you thank so you. much. It uh, improves the quality of the program to have a heavy hitter from the United Kingdom, such as yourself. Please little... send my uh, love and affection to Stevie, the vinyl cupboard. Tell him, don't let it. This will pass. Everything will be fine. Don't to worry uh, too much. Yeah, I'll see whether I can get on the while I'm in London with Alex. So. Yeah, yeah, say hi to him for me. Awesome. Yeah. And if, if I don't see you, uh, have a nice Easter. Okay. Safe travels, Rob, here and there and everywhere. See you later, guys. Bye, Rob Walker. Let the music play as Rob Walker. The voice of an angel, I might add. Yeah, uh, but does he, but Rachel, yeah. does he have a very big giant hoodie with a very tiny picture of him? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, so Holy shit. I blame you. You were quality control on that assignment. Well, it just looks normal. It looks so it. big on the pay on the and the computer screen. <laughs> just it's very <laughs> underwhelming. Very underwhelming. Just wear it like a badge. Badge, badge of, of honor. honor. <laughs> Jesus. Could you get some sort of um, I don't know a big decal to put over it, like a big stitch. No, thing. right. If you guys could send me a magnifying glass, I could add to people. Ask them to look at my. Shirt. You got the little drill pull string on that. You can just tie a magnifying glass to, or a monocle. You know. <laughs> oh my God, that's so crazy. Uh, <laughs> that's what. She holy said. smokes! All uh, right, how <laughs> many days will you be glass. offline, Rach? I, you know. We may even stream tomorrow afternoon, or not tomorrow, but Monday afternoon. We'll be on tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Is Monday. Oh no! Which day is we're not going to be on tomorrow? Tomorrow we're not going to be on tomorrow. Monday. That's we're, Monday. But, but we might be on later in the afternoon. Well, if you we'll come see. Home, if, like if Rob's streaming. not doing anything or well, something. Well, Monday night we're going to be back fairly in the evening. Like we'll be back at dinner. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We'll if we'll we, see. If we don't do tomorrow night, then we're not going to do it. It'll happen if it happens. It happens. Yeah. What will people do? 
I believe William is doing a, a stream tomorrow, and I, and it looks like it might be a good one. So uh, something to consider. William is there, and maybe Ian will fill in, or you know, God, yeah. is something we did is like you people have turned it a colossal waste of time. <laughs> exactly. yeah. Well, where's my phaser? It's right there. No. I set it to stun. Set phaser to stunning. Anyway, uh, tomorrow's perfect for Jose to do his first live stream. That's a good possibility. Uh, Stun rock confusion. William have normalized having fake accounts to VC with the express purpose of destroying people's lives. I've changed hard work to lives. I made 300 this morning in case I have to attack Muset. Holy smokes. Uh, fake accounts are like nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons. Pew, pew. Wessels, Wessels, nuclear Wessels. Fuck, set your phaser on. Seduce. <laughs> That's very good, Paul. Very good. Uh, okay, three hours morning coping. Yeah, exactly. We could do a, a YouTube with just me, you know. I could do it with Rob. I shoot Rob. Rob falls down. Yeah. And we just repeat. And for Rob Kelly, you're like, oh. Great, great. Rachel, why don't you just upload one of your streams tomorrow morning and everyone can watch that? You can re watch one of them. What, what's an epic stream we could? Uh... Oh, anything. Well, the one with Michael, the 45, the appearance, the special guest there, Michael Lone Star, special guest there, clear the room. Mazzy, oh. Mazzy is still not recovered from that one. That took a long time to get over that, the shunning. <clears throat> Mazzy has not recovered. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, uh, things are things are popping along. The vinyl community seems to be doing well. A lot of fun. A lot of people are having fun, and that's the main thing. I uh, chromium dioxide didn't come back. Happy anniversary, baby episode. The one we're in. Well, we're not going to do that, Brad. We love Ian, and uh, we're moving on from that. We wouldn't want to do that. Special puppet walk. Oh, Mark, I wish. I wish we had one of those old ones. Remember when Bill Shatner went to the into space? That was just oh, a, that was a really absolute fun. classic. There were Bill a lot Shatner. of classic. We had so many great episodes. Uh, the old show episodes back in the day. You know, and the whole story we've yeah. talked about before, but uh, we need an AI ghost in case uh, you know that can go when Rachel's not available. Uh, I the I show. Yeah, that's a good oh, I, because I Charles, I don't care about it really. You know, I understand. You know, I can't be for everybody. People don't like it. So what are you going to do, right? You know, like I get mad. I blow up. I had a good blow up on my uh, Patreon, Patreon stream the other day. Yeah, you, I'm, you know. You did but, have an epic blow up. Yeah, it was a, a good blow an up. An epic venting. Yeah, I, vent, I just found out. But then I'm all good after, right after. I'm even good even before, actually. Well, but, it was you know. one of those... Epic ventings, and then you said, yeah. Merry effing Christmas. Uh, Rach, Rob found me the Chico Freeman record I've always wanted. Oh, wow. Nice. Okay, so tell us about uh, Chico Freeman. What ch album was it, Rob? I have, I guess he's watching stuff that I um, have found and showed. I have two Chico Freeman records. Okay. So he's a trumpet player. I have, uh, his first album, uh, did he a navigation and then an OJC of a contemporary album. All right. So it, it's very it's very convenient for him to publicly say I found them without privately reaching out to me saying he wants. What three jazz albums do you need Sue to have in in her collection that you would go? This is what you need. You cannot stop. You the next well, thing you have to buy well, zero well, in on this. Hold on, Rachel. Okay. Someone bought a record from me to send to Sue. Yes. Yeah. But then they noticed that someone else had gifted Sue the record. Yeah. Right. We can't do that one. Yeah. So Sue tells me one she's looking for. I will find it and replace it with that one. Oh, wow. wow. That's very kind of you, Rob. Well, it's not kind of me. Well, it's, it's kind, kind of our friend. The person. Yeah. I'll put a note on it. Is. 
Yeah, out on the record. Who? It's Sean. Sean talked to us about it today. Okay. From yeah. shop. Yeah. Yeah. I'm turning. I'm making it more into like a Hitler helmet. <laughs> I've got the like the. It's got. <laughs> it's got. So it's got the little. Ra like, Ra hold on, Rachel. Rachel. <laughs> it, when you put it on, you should go like this. Like you put it on, then you go. Something's not right. Then you take it off and like. Take a piece of baked potato out from underneath it. <laughs> That's a big baked potato. Holy smokes. Uh, anyway, there's so much excitement. Yeah, well, that's why. Why would you want a, a CCR album? Oh, I'm sorry. Did he say CCR? He meant to say he's got a new Misfits album. Okay. Misfits, Randy. Anyway, it's the cramps. He's got crabs, uh, uh, Randy. You know, if Randy is actually, he's just absolutely impossible to please. It actually suits you. Thank you, Biggie. It's out loud. And John Cap. Well, thank you, friends. Holy smokes. Sometimes we just struggle to, uh, to make it to the very next episode. You know, this is one of those episodes where we're struggling. But Rob Walker had a very strong performance, I oh. thought. We've covered a lot of the uh, drama that's uh, capturing so many minds and imaginations. Uh, so that's a big thing. Really nice to say Jame here today, Jame Barnes. Mm -hmm. Jame's another one that he and I have uh, forged a, a new friendship, and we're moving forward in friendship, holding hands all the way. Team Jame for me all the way. Team Jame. Rob, do you see yourself becoming Team Jame in the not too distant future? Uh, no. Nah. Are you Team Jame, Paul? Psycho Platters? Hello there, everybody. How are you? You doing oh, look good? At, look at that. He's from Liverpool. <laughs> yes, a friendship forged in Funko. Yeah, that's <laughs> absolutely true. No, oh, I'm not. I've got four Funko Pops now. They they do tend to breed. I've got four. Mm -hmm. I got John Lennon. I got Joey Ramone. But then I got Kirk and Spock over in my Star Trek uh, kind of shrine. Yeah. I've got a shrine a built corner. to the whole thing. It's a Star Trek corner. Yeah. I was just going to ask if they breed like tribbles. Yeah, <laughs> tribbles stuff. breed like crazy. Those tribbles. And you got to keep them away from, and this is my favorite wheat germ, Quadratritic Haley. Yes, yeah. So Quadratritic oh, Haley is the, the Manitoba wheat germ that, that absolutely dribbles the door. Damn, that's a long ass Scrabble word. Holy smokes. I, I think it's more than late eight letters. Uh, Wax, you are dead. Grateful Dogs is attacking you in a way that you cannot believe. Death to Wax. I don't, I don't know. I don't. I don't know how to read emoji, but I don't know. Okay, the... what is, what the hell are you trying to say to him, Grateful Dogs? I have a feeling Grateful Dogs likes mushrooms. Mushrooms? Okay. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I wish Ian could see all the support coming his way on the show today. Ian's love. There's no problem with Ian. Maybe the Dark Lord will tell him we love the Dark Lord here as well. We love them. We love Stevie's vinyl cupboard. Stevie's wonderful, and I'm sorry that everything fell apart for them because of Stunty. Have you ever had trouble with Stunty Paul Psycho Bladders? Mm. I don't really think so. I don't. Uh, truthfully, I don't think I've really had any problems really with anybody around here. Not that I know of. Yes. Well, you're equal opportunity now. You now you've done the live stream experience yourself, haven't you, Paul? From time to time. Well, let's see. I think it's. I think we're going on almost three years now. I've been doing this, the live stream part, anyway. Okay. Now, when is your night for live streaming or day? Well, usually we try, ha ha ha, to do them on uh, Saturdays and Wednesday nights. Okay. And, uh, yeah. and who are some of your regulars? Uh, some of the names that the vinyl community might know say, "Oh, well, we've got," and then there's, and of course, there's good old. You know, I don't know. I mean, we've got we just have a lot of people. I uh, some of the people that I happen to have uh, up in the uh, peanut gallery, I guess, as you will, uh, yeah. my audience. I mean, they normally don't have YouTube channels, but they're there's some of my regulars like uh, Brother Brian see. 
Jennifer Epps? Do you have a brother Brian? We've got no, a no. You know, you know it. You know what? I'll tell you something. I had. To, I've never had any personal interaction at all with brother Brian. Uh, uh -oh, he's interesting. Well, here's he's interesting. Brian. Look at this, brother Brian. Psycho Platters is a punk. Now what? All right. <laughs> I am. I'm. I'm an old fucker. That's what I am. I. I. I, I am. I am. Nobody, nobody, nobody really gives a crap about about opinions from this guy, a middle middle aged man. I mean, what you know? What can I tell you? Now, Paul, you're becoming a regular on the Joe Mayo Movie Mayhem live streams. Yeah. Now, yep. when, when, when did the Joe Mayo Movie Mayhem live streams occur? Well, geez, I don't know. I mean, he starts them sometimes, sometimes before I get up in the morning. So usually, I chime in between seven and eight. And then I'll turn around and uh, watch you for a while, see? So before I go to work. Well, I didn't know that was uh, like a Joe's uh, movie uh, live stream. They were usually just, oh, I'm not doing anything. I thought I'd talk to you all live stream. He, he like, moved yeah. it over there, which, you know, I mean, that's that's all fine and, 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 you know, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you have uh -huh. a, a favorite live stream currently that you're enjoying? Well, well, I don't listen. I, I as much as I really would love to be able to uh, be able to watch everybody's. Okay, I just don't have time for that. But as oh. far as for regulars are concerned, like I said, Joe, you, grown man, record night on Friday oh. nights. Uh, Mikey, yeah, uh, once in a blue moon, maybe Doc if I'm here on a Sunday, which is rare anyway. So. Yeah. Uh, JB's treading water. Be careful. And Brian says, I'm just teasing you. I'm just having some fun. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. Mm -hmm. uh, treading water off the duck's ass. That's what I always say. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. John Chamberlain had a question for the wax. John Chamberlain, question for the wax. Let's put it up for Big for Rob. No, I didn't. Uh, BC is in the NIT. They play today, South Florida. Thank you, John, for your basketball-related question. I mean, I, I saw a st statistic, you know, Rachel, all these sites allow people to fill out a bracket. Yes. People can guess who wins. Yes. So one site, I don't know, had, you know, thousands and thousands of people. Yes. And after the first day or two, there were 16. Yeah. Perfect. You know why? Left. Yeah, what? you know why? Because what? Stunty and William came in with their fake accounts and screwed it all up. Well, the hell uh, with that. The hell them. with that. You know. Now, oh, well, yeah. Well, what kind of thing is that to say, Bill? Well, Bill K. Yeah. What's Bill K. doing? Is Walmart close? Psycho Potters is here. Stop yeah. it, Bill K. You <laughs> son of a bitch. I'm sure you had to go through that, Paul. It'll never close. It, 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 when when the four horsemen of the apocalypse come and you got the destruction of the world, Walmart will still be open. Walmart, Rob, gotta, yeah. cockroaches, and Ozzy and Keith Richards will always be here. Okay, we got a problem, and I've got this channel's got a problem, and I'm going to. It's the it's what do you call it? You know, it's the oil in the grass. It's the snake in the rafters. <laughs> it, it, we got a problem, Rob. Ooh, back. We and and obviously Paul, you your advice saw it here. We had chromium dioxide come on, okay? Mm -hmm. BBQ of chromium dioxide, incredible show, great guy. Yeah. He comes Good on, and, yeah. But you know what? Prague had timed him out. He's never been back. It happened this morning. I was hoping he'd come back. He was so friendly. Came I in. Know. I wanted to get him on You're camera, and Prague had killed him. You're gonna have to. Call wait, him. wait, Rachel. Who is that guy? I don't know chromium. Chromium dioxide has still got the channel up. Got the link here. He's got like a TV show that is second to none. He's got a lot of subscribers, but he should have even more. Here's a link to the channel. Uh, Putterman swears by him, and he's got a regular cast of characters. He's fun. He's incredible. Drag me to hell, thrash metal. He's a metal guy, for one thing. Thrash metal records time. But he does skits and different things. And there's this little cast of characters. It's like one of those, uh, what do you call them? Uh, 
Oh God, you know, like access, community access. It's like uh, Dr. Frankenstein's hilarious house of 3D, this sort of thing. Happy Palm Sunday, DJ Trish. You'll have to reach out to him on his channel. Though. Well, it's just there's the channel, and we so he came in. We had he didn't even have a wrench, and Proc had just killed him outright. Well, killed him for ten minutes. For That's ten amazing. minutes, he timed him out, and so, Chromium probably said, "Well, fuck this. I I don't I need this like a hole in the head." And he but just why? Went, why did he time him out? There we don't know. And then Prague had, got a little scared, panic, and he <laughs> left the room. Hmm. He said, um, "Hey, thanks for all being here through this difficult time. Thanks for being here. You've been, you know, great or yeah. whatever." And then he I'm going to unsub Prague. Everyone, no, <laughs> uh, no. Prague was sniffing glue. No, no. no. Rachel, no. when he timed him out, did you question Prague? Well, no, Broghead's very sensitive. I go, Broghead, why would you? I just said, I had knee jerked. I went, yeah. what do you do? Why did you time him out? He said, I was just trying to be helpful. He was trying to be okay, helpful. Did, did chromium dioxide say anything sorted? Yeah. No. He said, hi, thanks for helping me out during a difficult time or yes. helping us all out by doing the show. <laughs> Through this difficult yeah, through time. Yeah, through this difficult time. That was just yeah, no, no, after, after he did it, did Prokat go like this? My work is done. <laughs> he says, my work is done. I'm out of here. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah. I hope Prokat wasn't offended because I put in the chat, um, Prokat, weren't you, weren't you leaving? <laughs> uh oh, you shouldn't but have done I did that. A laughy face. You can't, yeah, but it doesn't matter. And you then can't. I said I was Prokat's like, not a guy you can do that with. Yeah, and then I said, <laughs> I said, no, no, we love you, Procat. Some days in the BC, it reminds me of junior high school. It was yeah. just um, Okay, yeah, look at this. See, uh, Jens goes, chromium di dioxide is a favorite among the metal folks. Hello, everyone, by the way. So it's we've lost an opportunity. That guy, if we could have gotten chromium helping us out on this program, holy just, shit. Just I'll have to look at chromium's channel. Yeah, he's he's uh, a legend. Yeah, Ra Rachel, could you put a list together so Edward knows all the other nice people he could time out? Next time? Thank you, DJ <laughs> Trish. The thumbs up really do help, especially in this hey. dark time. Oh, could you now, Trish? Don't get upset. But Rachel, could you deregist Trish so Edward could come in here and time her out? <laughs> and attack? Her? No, it's not going to happen. Anyway. I'm going to have to reach out to chromium yeah. dioxide, like Sue says. But it's work. Everything's work, you know. Oh, it just, just never ends. It's just a little. I'll do it. Anyway. You know, I can do it. No, it's got to be for me. Okay. Go ahead, Rob. You know, a lot of people come around here up to no good and yeah. cause trouble. Yeah. But when a nice person comes in, yes. they're the ones who get the there shit. was someone else that got derenched. I mean, got uh, timed out really quick. That didn't come back. Was it Adria or a friend of ours? Adriana. Adria. Yeah. Adria. Yeah. Adria. She yeah. she never came back. We lost uh, her. She came in. She showed up once. Said that's enough of that. Whoops. Yeah, it's too bad. You know, it's a damn crying, damn crying shame. For the record, we still love Edward a lot. Yeah, we love. Damn it, we love Edward. <laughs> but you know, there's a lot of trouble right here in River City, and that's my that's do it, my gun. Do it, boy. Oh boy. Anyway, now you know the rest of the story. But none of it's good. I'll tell you that much. None of it's good. None of it's heartwarming. <clears throat> no, the only reason I said Procat, um, are you leaving? Is because he always pops his head up when he's about to go out the door. Yes, I know. So I didn't mean to say, like, weren't you? We love Brock yeah. but it's just one of these unfortunate things. And he's a good guy. Chromium Dioxide, wonderful channel. The guy's got uh, 2,870 plus subscribers. He should be, he should have like 20,000. Well, the amount guy. of work he puts into his channel. I like know. the art, like the art, the, the filming that he's uh, Boy, you know. Okay, we got problems here as well. I'm going to let Wax deal with this. Rob, uh, response. Oh, no. 
Okay, Mousy's censorship program is continuing at pace. Seems to be no end in sight. Any words of advice for Norman? Yes, don't watch his channel. Uh, further information, Prog Hat is a good dude. Uh-oh. I, I was reading that because I wanted to encourage <laughs> I didn't see this last part that was more <laughs> negative. Uh oh. Just hey, hold on, hold on. it's almost I, deflating. Can you, make, can you make me big? Yes, Rob. If only I could make your shirt big. Okay, but anyway. Well, listen, All she's right. just jealous because he does not have a big giant hoodie with a small tiny picture of himself on it. <laughs> Okay, we got good news coming out of the Instagram. Uh, this is DJ Trish. Her Instagram channel, we had heard rumors that it had been taken down, uh, censored, but she's okay now. Uh, first, learn how to spell censorship. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We uh, you know what's great? That's, even though Brother Brian is not on screen, I can see his big wide Yeah, laughing. Right We're having a smoke. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but, uh, Massey, uh, how are you doing? We, we were talking about all the other live streams this morning. That It's one of those, uh, I don't know, what do you call it? You know, putting the thermometer in. Yeah. We're getting a read on thing. Yeah. We had Rob Walker on helping us out. Now, Mazzy, were you on the William or the uh, Sarah, Sarah Raging Tomato TV show last night? Apparently, it was inundated with elderly men. And that many of them were spanked unceremoniously and figuratively by the lovely, the bevy of beautiful panelists that the Raging Tomato had uh, accompanying her own lovely self. Oh, oh my. Uh, Norman Massoff writes, I've been out, still out in a boot, haven't seen any of it. William got a good dressing down by the ladies. Censorship, I'll tell you, censorship. Good morning, Rachel Sue and all my friends here. Johnny, you're going to be very happy. Renee couldn't make it today. Yeah, so you're allowed to come up on screen, Johnny. Yeah, because Renee didn't come. Yeah. Oh. Is not available. He's got family issues. He'll be there. He's a nothing problem. He's doing good. Uh, Mexican pick me up some Maxwell House coffee. <laughs> oh, uh, Rishi, I love this comment. And I'm going to go to Paul. Paul, can you read this one? This is good. <clears throat> it says Mazzy's interview of Sasha Berliner was fantastic. Everyone should check it out. All right. Have you seen that one, Paul? No, actually, I have not. And I'm going to be ignorant in saying, who is Sasha Berliner? Oh, or Berliner. Which way is okay. it pronounced? I don't know. Okay, so, so, Berliner. All I know is yeah. she's a, a, what's it called? About a, Go ahead. A xylophonist. Xylophonist. Or, vibes oh. player. They call it vibes in the world um, of jazz. Well. I'm not watching the yet. I'm going to. But, um. She's a good-looking gal. Yes, That's hot. The first thing I saw. She hot, very, attractive, young, vibrant. Very attractive. She made family. a very. They, they together. They make, they make an incredible power couple. She looks good. <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay, <laughs> hi Brian, brother Brian. Me, I'm love. Take care. Me, I'm love, Brian. Take care, brother. There he goes. The pride of Dayton. I don't they know, know how, how any normal man could just sit and talk to her without well, uh, without blushing. feeling uh, blushing or feeling a little well, bit was was oh. Mazzy acting extra creepy in the interview? No, uh, so, but. we think he may have been blushing a little, you know, because he does get a little <laughs> like that. A little again, he's so cute, he gets a little self conscious around pretty girls. He had that same reaction when he saw me. Did you notice he got oh, started to blush yes. a bit with Rachel? Like I go, yeah. hey, Mazzy. Right, Rachel. Um, yeah. when I'm around pretty girls, yes, the image of myself on my clothing shrinks really small. Oh, I got this for you, Rob. Look out, we got trouble, and it's coming from Johnny. Can't come on, Rachel. Still in bed, not up to par today. Uh -oh. Oh, Johnny must have stayed up all night again. Uh, powerful comment. I watched it. It was good. 
Uh, pff, she's no Musette, I'll tell you that much. Joe Harley said Sasha is a badass. Joe Ooh. Harley's talking like that. There was so she. What, what, what is Dot Rachel? What does Jimmy Barnes think of her? Jamie, did you see Mousy's video? Let us know in the comments below, Jamie. I go for everything we see. Thank you so much, John. Thanks for that. <laughs> yes, adorable Rachel. I like her nice music, love, and Mazzy would show his records. So the vibraphonist is on, beautiful, young, attractive, desirable. Mazzy, knowing what to do, responds by showing records. How about Darren? Gag me, Rachel. <laughs> What's happening with Raz? <laughs> I streamed Sasha's uh, LP, Long Playing Record, and I really enjoyed it. Tommy Barnes is the John Galt of the VC, and he doesn't mind saying it. Thank you, Rich. Uh, Rob, quickly, who's uh, Ron Galt? John Galt. He's the guy who designed Rich's um, room tour. Oh, oh, that's a hell of a hell of a room tour, i got to admit. Uh, I asked for her to respond to other Vibraphonus. <laughs> Is there a support group for vibraphonists? I don't know. Oh my God. Um, see, yeah, Lisa Go Chauncey, Chromium Dioxide Radio is one show that the Beast, Beast Man, really likes. He said he would quit his day job to work that show. Holy smokes. Wow. Chromium dioxide, what a faux pas, losing that guy. Uh, chromium dioxide should avoid this stream. There's no drown in the metal sea. Diane and Sid. Well, listen, we like him, though, Sid. Diane Dian Sid, Sid. Do not time out Diane Sid. Well, hold on. Is Diane Sid what host Diane? I don't know. Chromium dioxide, I know. Hey, hold Dian on. Sid. Hold on. Let me. Diane Sid, did you okay. have a meltdown on a British stream last week? Okay. Good question. November 18th, 2023. Okay. Let's so, take a look at Diane said. That is moderate. Let's trust him. Even though his comment we'll is very negative. And then Rob can interrogate And then him. we'll interrogate him. We're trusting you with a wrench. Thank God Progat wasn't here. Your life would be forfeit, even as we speak. Did More a now, anybody watched the Sarah show? I didn't. I missed it. I didn't want. It did a bunch of old people jump on her stream? Did this happen? Uh, <laughs> forget. We're hoping. Yeah, said we had. Uh, Procat came across trouble. We love chromium dioxide. He's a fellow Canadian there, said. And uh, so as a fellow Canadian, I think me and Chromium could do some, uh, make beautiful music together. Uh, Joe, Joey Votto apologized to Canada. Well, it was a long time coming. Chuck uh, uh, Barris is the head of the Vibraphonist uh, support group and union, from what I understand. Uh, David Donnelly had a good showing on Sarah's stream. William, again, was the role model of how young men should not behave. So almost a negative Behavioral pattern form, but I heard the ladies, the panel, they absolutely handled themselves with a plum and were able to discipline well, William. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, right. How does a lady yeah. handle herself with a plum? A plum, <laughs> not a plum, not the not the tiny little fruit. But we're talking about. Is that something you can see at a show? <laughs> It was more a case of handling William and disciplining him in a way that would probably benefit him. And uh, Well, I peeked in on Sarah's stream. Okay, what did you say? What did you witness? I witnessed um, some pretty oh, oh. debased kind of stuff. But debased stuff, nothing yes. too Nothing too crazy, but I did notice that David was very respectful. And gentle, David right? Donnelly David is wonderful. David Donnelly was yeah. like a normal human being. Yes. Which was, of course, I expected that. We would expect nothing less. Yeah. But uh, a couple of other people. He's a gentleman were, and he's actually kissed a girl before, yeah. which probably makes a lot of the difference at the end of the day. Right, Rachel, yeah. do you think I'll be able to kiss a lot of girls wearing this? 
<laughs> no. <laughs> I want to see a video where you go to Amoeba Records wearing that thing, wearing that bad boy. <laughs> like the like, remember Massey's dirty looks he got? Hey, hey, hey. Yes. Yeah, Rachel, I want to go to a place going, do you know who I am? And they go, no. I go, I'm him. That's who you are. <laughs> I'm this guy. <laughs> you, you won't be able to, oh, you won't be able to pat their heads as they like oh. lean in to view. Holy crap. Hey, I would appreciate your next gift to me is underwear that just doesn't quite fit. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So apparently, I guess William acted out and the girls. Knocked him down a pick or two. On. That's what all I heard. That's the only thing I've heard about from it. From Wait, the show. so you're we'll saying. A, uh, recap from Sarah. Yeah. Let me get this straight. So, what you're saying okay. is that places he goes, oh, yes. people tell him that he's really not quite acting appropriately. Look at this. Yeah. We got you yeah. said. Oh, oh, keep going, Rob. Never mind. Well, I'm telling you right now, Musette, stop it. This is you just being girl. This is, listen, girl, this is you just acting up, being being all upset because the other girls getting all the boys. Musette, you've got Loki. You should be happy with that. Girl like you should be happy with what you got. I'm sorry, that's been building up between well, right. you. Isn't that a song? <laughs> it could be. No, yeah, I, she's a cougar, Rachel, a gold digger. <laughs> I like cougars. Okay, check this out, Paul. Uh, how do you read? Uh, what do you? What's your take? Yeah. All right, it says William did a speed date with a young woman on the panel. She really knocked him down several pegs. It was fun to see. Oh, that was Torsha. Well, you know what it is. It's like. Uh, several pegs. It wasn't just a peg, a single peg. I a guy can probably handle a single knockdown peg, uh -huh. but if you got several pegs knocked down, that gotta hurt. Oh, believe you me, I've had that happen in my life, so I know where he is in that one. Yeah, but Paul, have you have you ever tried to to be overly, you know, like sexual in your overtures with your lady friends? Like, oh, I don't know. Oh, hey, uh, chick. <laughs> I'm a rugged guy. I got what you need, baby. Yeah. Kind of, you, you know, mean, kind of fair stuff. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. Or or like Biden level creepy. No, I've never done that with any any of my lady yeah. friends. I, I have decorum and uh, I don't know. I just, I was brought up different. Well, it was a different time then. Rachel, yeah. would you believe I've never had any pegs? <laughs> Oh my. Paul has been pegged several times. <laughs> I probably have and, and not known it. That liquor, that Everclear will just never mind. <clears throat> I was just right. Even Randy, who's been around the block a couple of times, an old <laughs> Air Force boy. <laughs> what is banging? Holy oh. stuff. Something new he could yeah. try. Oh, well, it happened to Steely Dan, and they wrote a song about it. Look it up. It's true. Yes, that's <laughs> true. They did. Uh, holy smokes. Um, you set powerful girl power here. Oh, you'd know it. Uh, very catty. You set. Rob, how are you handling the whole transition with uh, Peggy into the voluptuous, desirable, feminine creature that's known as Muset? He's a veteran of pegging. I mean, what? It's nonsense. Okay, well, what do you think's going on psychologically with the poor thing? Be gentle. Uh, Be gentle. I'm I'm not a professional. I do not diagnose people. Okay. With That's a good point on the YouTube. We're just as an entertainment purposes only. Yeah. Anyway, Musette, we love you. We just don't know, you know, how healthy and well adjusted you are. Are you having a hard time watching your uh, kung fu films <laughs> because of the of their uh, violence, their uh, their excess violence for a young girl like you? Uh, anyway, well, it sounds like it was very interesting. Uh, okay, can, please, can we stop talking about this as a transition? It's happened. 
Musette is Musette. Deal with it. Okay, I love that comment. Loki, that had to be said. It's been building up for some time. And I'm all on board. Musette, you go, girl. Paul, Musette, any any compliments for a young girl like Musette that you, you know, compliment, you know, hey, you're a good looking girl. I'm mildly, okay, listen, I'll admit I'm mildly confused, ladies and gentlemen. So it's Musette, it's Musette formerly, for, I'm getting confused here. Is Musette yeah. Miss Mew, is this what we're doing? And then she changed her name. I'm confused, guys. It don't, it don't take much, damn it, to confuse me anymore. Why do you think I drink copious cups of coffee every day? Uh, I love it. this comment from his uh, bed. Uh, Johnny, <laughs> Johnny's been that able to communicate. Right. Johnny, in the, from the very from the comfort of his bed. So women, Rachel, go back. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. It was women should be treated with respect and opinion. Yes. <laughs> Whose opinion? Grammar is everything. Okay, women should be respect. And we also have this. Good morning, everybody. And Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Richard's the nice guy who was on last week, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I love this comment here. Uh, whatever happened to that chick? Used to be on here. She worked at the cat rescue. I think she came from the Manson family. Yes, wow. it's Denny after dark, your fam Manson family member. And she's doing great. She's still got her show and she's friends with Paul Cast and Mr. Beckham. We call him Bex. There was also and she's the other, lovely. The other lady who has worked at the cat rescue place. Well, Danny after dark yeah, worked at cat okay, rescue. Okay. He's talking about yeah, that okay. one. You're talking about Danny yeah, after dark. Him, yeah. She's doing great, uh, Dead Wax. But Danny had a falling out with uh, PB Thaw. Okay. And uh, and Paul Cass had a falling out with Bibi Thal and they don't hang out. Yeah, that's the dame. She had great gams. That's right. Uh, let's see what that. Okay. Uh, 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 Rob, let's try this. Johnny is the only real man in this community. Yeah. The real alpha dog. Yeah. Do you notice how she spelled dog like in cool ways? Like you're a dog, you know, it's like dog. It's kind of like cool talk. Rest in peace, Lisa Tedesco. Yes, yeah, she's a, that's the name I was trying to Lisa. Say. We love Lisa. Lisa just I think the time didn't work for her, and she stopped making her channel. And yeah. I just don't know. I think she just said not enough time for it. Lisa was really nice. Uh, Deadwax, did you have a, a TV show last night running on the YouTube? I had no idea. That's great. I didn't, I didn't either. Yeah, Randy, you're, uh, Randy, are you finding it very hard and uh, difficult to get your own audience built up because there's so many live streams now? Anyway, we love Lisa Tedesco. She's a lovely lady, but yeah, we don't get Lisa Ann uh, these days. I know, we all like do. Quite, she was very nice. It's been like quite a sleepy Sunday. Well, it is, you know. It's just another sleepy Sunday. Oh, oh, oh. hi, Rich. Welcome. Uh, I got a good thing going. Audio is great now. New DJ mixer. Well, you needed that, Randy. That was the Achilles uh, Why didn't you get a good camera to go with it, Randy? He had a good camera. I don't want a big crown. Just my buds that like good music. Big crown. So obviously he wants to be the crown. The king of the disco. Disco dead wax. A rebrand could be in order, Randy. I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Loki, what have you and Musette done with love? That's what I'd like to know. Oh, love is, yeah, because there was no. a triangle going on yeah. there. She, love has disappeared. and I'm, Love is in the air. I'm suspicious. They call it my love boat. Mm. Mm. Love is in the air. They call it my love boat. And I don't know if I'm being foolish. Mm. I've been in a few triangles. Uh, uh, bye, bye, bye. Ba, ba, ba. 
Bah. Uh, it's always good to see you, people. Thank you, Greg. I saw your test last night, Randy. It's confirmed you're pregnant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Congratulations. Holy smoke. Lisa just loves that. Just She loves that rock. Mm. Love boat theme. Fantastic. The love Russ boat. is going, please reach more of that. I know. You will. Have. <laughs> I know. I feel what you feel. Holy smoke. So, Paul, on your live streams, you guys have uh, hit songs like we do with like uh, 106. And uh, what's the other hit? We got uh, My, 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 Orthofon Bent in Half. Yeah. Yeah, stuff like that. You got any hip songs that come out of your uh, live stream experience? Thank God, no. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> None of that. None of that. Yes. No skipping disco records. None of that. Love is in the air. They call love it my love boat. Oh, wow. That's a love boat. <laughs> the, the VC uh, love boat. Uh, Zoo Animal on Wheels, that is Paul. I'm sure it's Paul. I'm going to say that's Paul, too. It could be Zach, though. <laughs> His listener, I always get that, too. Zoo Animal on Wheels. I'm going to go with Paul. Zoo Animal on Wheels. Let's go back a word. It's Paul. I nailed it. Uh, points for Rachel. Holy smokes. Good to see you here, uh, Zoo. We don't get you all the time. Anytime we do, we consider ourselves <clears throat> fortunate. Rob, you got to go hunting. Uh, we got a uh, request coming in from Canada. Um, okay. I, I don't run into a lot of bootlegs. Now, so typical is, bootleg, yes. the typical bootlegs you run into are um, Beatles, Stone, yeah. Led Zeppelin, Zappa. I see a lot of Zappa bootlegs. Yeah. I really, I really don't see a lot of Genesis. Uh, Album. Okay, Darren's coming off a hard interview with Tony Banks, uh, late of Genesis. Very important. Uh, Psycho Platters, Paul, have you ever interviewed a big uh, name like uh, Darren's been able to? Well, that's kind of funny. You sort of bring something like that up because uh, okay. we're going to be we're going to be getting some uh, some new equipment coming up in about the next thirty to sixty days here, okay. where we're finally for the first time in about mm, eighteen months we're going to be able to pull people up on screen again. And uh, I do actually have reached out. I've put some feelers out with several different musicians in several different genres. Okay. So when that does happen, there will be a new sub series in the Psycho Platter universe. Is one of your guests named Paul McCartney? <laughs> Nobody going to be as big as that, no. But okay. but some of, some of these people, uh, for for anybody that is into well. 60s music to now there's going to be some people that will be at least in recognizable names yes rick wakeman Possibly. damn it you, you found me no not rick <laughs> that would be an interesting little conversation uh with rick yes he's a good one uh yes indeed rob are you playing drums I'm typing something. Hmm. His manifesto. I typed something to someone, and they and they just received it. Dead wax. We all like different things for different reasons. Dead wax. That's important for you to know. Uh, okay. The last cruise I went on had a love boat themed game show being filmed on board. I met the guy who played Isaac the bartender. That's Fred Grundy. You made Fred Grandy. Fred no, is incredible. Is not, Fred Grandy is, is incredible. Ted, Ted, no. that, is Ted, that is Ted Lang. Right. Ted, that's as I said. Ted Lang <laughs> as the bartender. Lang. Lang. Ted Thames. Lang. Ted, Ted, Ted Lang. Lang. You're Ted killing Lang. me. Lang. Simple, can you do Rachel? Could you could you do a uh, Isaac greeting? I, like that. Isaac, I, uh, so. 
Oh, and God. They're giving, they had, yeah. They all had their own way. Yeah. It's absolutely fantastic. That's how they all had that. Uh, oh my God, Ted Lang, the best with pointed fingers, Rob. I think you can interview him. That would be great. Well, you know, Rachel, I actually, our offices, the <laughs> company I worked at, were at the same offices as SAG, the Screen Actors Guild. Yes. And I think he was a heavy member oh. of the guild. Yes. But there was one time they had an event, and I walked in, and he was carrying a tray full of drinks. Holy smoke. That is crazy at the film. Actors Guild, ladies Screen and gentlemen. Screen Actors Guild. Screen Actors. I always get that one Dang. mixed up. Film, what? Actors, Film Guild. Actors Guild. Anyway, the point is Hollywood is crazy. There's so much going on. Uh, Rob, a lot of film, you know, it's like the old boys town. There is no such thing as a bad boy. No child boy is born bad. In Hollywood, no film loses money, actually. Every I, because of, I, Rob and I have learned. Rob, taught oh, me. hold on, Rachel. Yeah. The films still make yeah. money after they're made, even if <laughs> they are reportedly losing money. It's that's not true. Well, films I mean, cannot lose money. Well, let's give an example. Last year, Warner Brothers wrote off three movies and just dumped them, so they took a tax write off. So they didn't lose. They, you know. Uh oh, we're to caution. We're to caution here. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think, Chris, you could take that advice for almost anyone who offers to do you an exam. <laughs> right? Especially in the thrift store. Uh, Chuck T's question Rob, is Hollywood still on strike? Uh, work action. Well, all of the Hollywood was not on strike. The two unions ended the strike yeah. about. Four or five months ago, no. That's terrible because I'm calling him Isaac. Hey, Isaac. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, he's been going through that for like forty something years. Oh, and, and does Go forget the same difficulty, Rob? <laughs> Ray, uh, what do they call you when you're out on the street, Rachel? Ghosty. They say, get out of my way. <laughs> uh, I go, it's ghosty, Jack. Now, Rachel, when I go out on the street, I go yeah. like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's who you are. Holy smoke. Um, things are going so well right now. Uh, Rachel was ye yelling out, hey, Fred, to Ted Lang. <laughs> Fear me. Yeah, when, hey, Rachel Fred. Sees, when Rachel sees an African-American famous person, yeah. Yeah. She goes, hey, rerun. <laughs> <laughs> then I do that. <laughs> As we wait for our lives. The other Our night, I, the other night I, comedies. Rachel, before yeah. I go to bed, I, I partake. And there was a Saturday Night Live skit is the kings of catchphrase comedy. Have you ever seen that skit? That yeah. Thing Catchphrase going coming. <laughs> Dynamite. But, oh my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, okay. Uh oh, so there's a problem. Tech crews are going on strike next if they can't get a deal. Kimmel mentioned it at the Oscar. I hope we can avoid that. Uh oh, yeah, Trumpy Faulty Towers. Hey, uh, things are good. Things are happening there. They were trying to take, uh, I guess they, they've gone to court. They're saying that uh, it's too much. It's a little ridiculous. And uh, so good news out of New York. And, of course, it's upsetting everyone on the. What are the, they calling that clause? The unreal? The it, it's, 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 I don't know. Impossible. The impossible, uh, the impossible clause. Or something. Yeah, the impossible because he can't. Who can pay that? No. But, well, anyway. Yeah. So that, so that is going up. And uh, I guess Leticia, God bless her. She was trying to stop it. But I guess she failed in her efforts to stop it. It's going to the appeal. So uh, congratulations, Donald John Travantes is gay. And uh, the other good thing that's happening for Donald is that, and Rob and I were celebrating yesterday, but poor Massey, did you just see the look? Massey looked so crestfallen as word came through that uh, Truth Social is going public. And uh, Donald Trump's uh, stock in the company is worth of four, reportedly $4 billion. It's a billion with a B. 
Eh, it's a big steal. Oh, Rob, hey, Rachel, yes, <laughs> Rob. Based on them saying yeah. it's worth four billion, it hasn't yeah. gone. It's not available yeah. to trade on the stock market. Not yet. And when it does, it could yeah. go for a penny a stock. And apparently, and it's they're going to do a lot better than that, Rob. The smart money is saying this is going to be an incredible IPO. Uh, right, Rachel. Well, remember, you know, hold on. Remember, terms. remember yes, when you and Sue invested yeah. all your money in that yeah. hoodie, in the hoodie company stock. In the hoodie company, and, and we had company. it was so tiny. It was, I was so underwhelmed when the final product was released. The triptychs were right. <laughs> yeah. right, Rachel. My appearance here today, yeah, cost that company three billion dollars. <laughs> three billion. Uh, AI is going to change Hollywood. Do you believe that, Paul? You know, I do see that happening. Okay. I really do. AI sure seems to be taking over a lot of things in a grander scale. And oh. yeah, given another five to 10 years, it's really going to be a big presence, whether we like it or not. My hey, fear yeah. is that they're going to have AI that take my seat in the position here. Hey, Ray, Rachel, do you think Billion was created by AI? I believe it, it, William is a, is, a, is a functioning ro robot. Ribbit. Uh, Massey goes, and this is Massey speaks so for so many when he says, like every other tech stock bubble, eventually most inventors simply get fucked. Yeah. And thank you, Massey. Thank you for your wisdom. All right, 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 Rachel. What happened with that woman who created the box that could tell you what diseases were? What happened to that lady? Okay, that that's Gwyneth Paltrow. She took, from what I understand, the scent of her own lady parts and marketed it. I have done something similar. And with that in mind, oh. I want to go to the Rachel's Ghost store right now. You know, a lot of people say, gosh, you've got that hey. transgendered scent. That Rachel, just can, you add, can you add a photo of myself wearing myself to the store? Here, make me big. Make Here me big. we go. Rob, where are you This is the perfect. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it, folks. Oh, my God. That is good. Fantastic. Uh oh, look out. There's the, there's the money shot. <laughs> it's like when the mirror goes on forever, you know, just uh, into infinity. Yeah. Uh, what did I return to? Listen, we're, we've had some underwhelming merchandise uh, put out. <laughs> I've got my best woman on it. Sue's going to go in that shop. Wait, wait, wait. And wait I didn't something. know you could send garments that smell like beef. What? It smell like what? It smells like beef. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yes, Wolfie, that happened. Uh, that's not a sustainable. Rachel, it's reversing into an S pack with revenues of 50 million and losses of five. That's not a sustainable model. Well, listen, Loki, I'm not, I'm not pretending to be the expert and the be all the end all on all this. Okay. Uh, I know that Massey will be buying true social stock when it goes public. It'll be what's called a hostile takeover. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm Trumpy Bear. Uh, if X is crashing, true social will even work. X is not crashing. X is doing fine. Well, let's see, Rachel. Let's yeah, go look, at the, go look at the stock value. X is doing fine. I got to get going, guys, and uh, I got to run an errand. I thank you for having me on all this time. And, uh, you know, oh, and one last thing I want to let you guys know, okay? Right. Charlotte, my granddaughter, got released Friday night. Wow. She was in the NICU for 22 days. And so I thank everybody for all the prayers and the prayer circles. It was beautiful. And so I just want to thank yeah. you. Thank you all for having me on. Have yourself a kick-ass day and a kick-ass week, and I'll see you soon. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Paul, and uh, bless you and your family, and uh, really good to hear that the baby's okay. Okay, uh, X, if X is crashing through social, it's not crashing, Massey. It's doing great. Nobody loses money. Rob is here to tell you. Money, 
That's movies don't lose just money. Movies, ju money just moves. That's it's neither created nor destroyed. Not what I said. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm trying to help it out. Massey should start a new Marxist social media platform called <laughs> Call Me. Are you using Massey's Call Me platform? All right, Rachel, All right, this is your headline go. from January. Headline, headline in January. 71% down since Virtue by Musk name change from Twitter. Uh oh, that's the Guardian. That's ah, fake news. No. Uh, X is well below where Twitter was. Well, yeah, yeah but that was, well, there was a lot of. Uh, you know, well, you can't, Rachel, there. Rachel, yeah. there's no yeah buts. It's okay, money, right. it's sales, it's data that's I think in, it's irrefutable. Like Go look. I'm trying to pull up the chart for the year. Where you see the lines. Yes. We'll look at it. There should be like a monitor, like uh, the index, you know. The there is. Kind of thing. What's going on? Oh, okay. Things are going good. Uh, uh, Tesla's down a little bit, but not bad. Well, Tesla. They're following through. Tesla's future is in those uh, charging the batteries. That's yeah. Where not in the cars. I don't think X was a good rebrand name because everyone's still, after all this time, is still. I don't know. X, I'm kind of on board with X. I call it X. Twitter. Like I just, I just that. call it the other thing for the, for the other kids. You know. Uh, uh, yeah. Did you talk to Elon last night? On X. Who? Didn't you talk to Elon? I, no, I wasn't Elon. I just, it was, uh, it was just another parody account oh, that yeah. I was that giggling was with. I was doing a joke with. Yeah. Many advertisers left out. That's right. The liberal heroes have abandoned it, haven't they, Mazzy? That's okay, Norman. It'll do fine. Uh, it's down the pan. I heard uh, tweets have been replaced with excretions. <laughs> That's a good one. Most of the advertising left X are controlled by BlackRock and Vanguard. Yeah, BlackRock, holy smokes. What a thing that is. Rachel, do you have a true social account? I do, Brad. I'm Rachel's ghost. You'll find me as Rachel's ghost wherever I go. The, the, the favor of flute. Fruit? 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 And I'm over on I'm on the X platform with Elon bantering about on a daily basis. <laughs> yes. Rachel's ghost spells Elon with an E. <laughs> yes. Uh, I heard there's a lot of more porn on X. There has been some. Uh, my account is mix tape chick 77 on the Twitter. Yeah, you don't want to follow me, Trish. I'll tell you that much. And my mind thing is just filled with, oh, I love Trumpy Bear. Hi, Mr. Prison. Me, I love you. And stuff like that. It's very annoying. Uh, so don't follow me there. Okay, uh, Rob, we got a question for you. This is uh, going to be difficult. And let's guide him through the process. He's got a huge jazz record, but he can't put a date on. Can you put a date on that for him? You mean the the dried up fruit? <laughs> he could squish a, a dried up fruit. Out. No, he's meaning the the calendar. Uh, well, you, know, you need more information that you gave to determine yeah. what record it is, right? No one actually sees truth. Hmm. Uh, multiple accounts are true social, so you can manipulate polls like William and Stenty. I mean Let's be honest. The only reason to go to truth is to see what Trump has to say. When Trump goes away, which all of us do, okay. what value does that platform have? Trish has got what's called a live journal account. Do you know live journal? Are you a follower of Jive live journal? Okay, Chris has got the answer. It's 1952. You've got a 1952 <laughs> record, Frederick. Thank you, Chris. Boy, I'm glad we're able to help him out. You know, Chris is he's quick. He's hot he's right quick. now. He's so hot. hot. Right that's now. what Mike says. Jazz so Mike. He's right so now. hot right now. Yeah. Uh, that's from Zoolander, a great yeah. movie, by the way. Truth is so 20th century. We're so beyond that. Yeah. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, direct from Belgique, our good friend Fred. Frederick is here to uh, pose the question What year is my record? We're going to name the date on the record. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Fred, let's see the record. No, I'm just going to just going to just going to uh -oh. explain why I need the date. You know, for a sec, I just thought for a second there, it did say, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I thought we I might did. have a hit record there, but okay, Frederick, uh, let's no, see. No, 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 don't, don't pull that joke on me. <laughs> I just, uh, there's a, a new uh, a video I saw uh, yesterday, uh, the German Vinyl Tag 2024, and oh. the categories were pretty interesting, so I'm going to do the video. Okay, who, gonna... who started it? um i'll tell you in a second i have to look it up okay and do we have can we, if i'm not german but i've got german answer can i do it if i just i'm distantly german maybe you know i i translated all the questions too because my german is not so good oh so, so we so, okay so we spec and see uh, and, uh, you know a bit ein bisschen aber nicht so viel uh, aber a bit als nicht nur, we'll do a little bit magna vishnu magna vishnu mm. okay. okay let's see what we got frederick so one of the questions is, and this is a little spoiler alert, uh, what is yeah. the oldest record in your collection? And this is one that I took from my dad's collection. Oh, this dear. Gene Krupa. Do you oh. know him? Uh, yeah, drummer. But Rob, you know what? That, that looks like it's one of those 70s reissues. Yeah, probably. But he's so, a drummer. Gene, Gene Krupa is a famous I drummer. understand, but, th but those... Okay, so what you have there is robert lovewick remastered a bunch of uh, verb titles in the late 70s early 80s so it yes. should be rl on the dead wax we got great it's news for great. frederick your first hit is now on the way yp is here <laughs> thank god he got it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you nailed it it's gonna be so good uh, congratulations <laughs> I love yeah it. Well, let let him search for my impression of the Swedish cook, which I'm not going to do again. For you know, so let's that let that be clear. But uh, back to the music. I thought this was it's it's definitely your issue, but I couldn't uh, date it. But it's it's, uh, it's like the we're not well, doing a poll. Well, we, we like yeah, okay. that's like 78, 81 at the latest. Yeah, probably. I thought my my dad started buying records in the early sixties, but uh, so I don't know. So that's one of the categories. What's the oldest record in your collection? So thanks okay. for can you back and see the translation so we can play along for friends. Well, you don't have a record from the sixties. Yeah, I probably have. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Probably. Do you know yeah. my oldest records were my beloved Bing Crosby's, but I mailed those off to a, a fortunate. A ten-inch collector. I forget who I gave them to, but a baggy. A baggy was a baggy. They yeah. ended up with them. Baggy ended up with the baggy. Mia said, "Have you got the the those old records?" I think so. Anyway, a baggy could do them. You said, "Oh, okay." So what else you got, Fred? Where are some of the other questions? Uh, let me get the paper. Uh, hey, who's doing a question thing? Um. One of the things is which uh, which one of the categories is uh, can you turn uh crap into gold present up a record that you really don't like as if it was super great i really i'm, I'm really i'm going to enjoy doing this oh. or um do you have an album with uh three guitarists or two drummers or four vocalists uh, but it's not a choir so i got an album with two drummers on it uh is there a live is there a live album that you were actually at a recording of i actually have one oh, that's wow. one. I, I have one of those <laughs> So, um, which uh, uh, do you have an album by a band or an artist that has been released in different countries in different cover variants? Yeah. So that's one of the things. Um, so yeah, a couple of. I thought it's only eighteen questions. So I think I'm gonna. Eighteen. Gonna be my eighteen or eight. Eighteen. Eighteen. So almost twenty. Almost twenty. Yeah. So you could be spending but, a lot of time working this. Well, Michael Forty Five being doing an entry. Uh, I don't think so. No, not yet. But I'm gonna, it? I'm gonna post it. the okay. the person who started it or where I saw it uh, yeah. was Sound in Grooves, but it's a German. It's a German uh, channel. Sound so in Grooves. Okay. I didn't understand. Peter Blattenladen could help me out. Yeah. Peter Blattenladen. There are some. I'm gonna post the link. Wait. You have it. Too many questions. It's like the year of tag for all our German friends. <laughs> so, uh, where is it? Uh oh, I hate these. 
Rob, I absolutely hate these kind of questions. I never get them right. Um, <laughs> Louie, Louis, you needed probably five Diet Cokes in you to make oh, sense. That is absolutely. <laughs> those are, are you good at math? You seem like you'd be good at, Fre at math, Frederick. Like if I go, oh, five plus seven, and you would go, oh, I think I can give you the answer on that, Rachel. Uh, I, I would good. struggle. <laughs> I, I was, like, what do we got here? Can you explain what's happening here? This is the video that I saw where they did the German vinyl tag. It's not the it's original. It's German. Tag. It's the not, but it's in Deutsch. It's, okay. it's in Deutsch. But it's isn't, in Deutsch, man. Yes. Isn't YouTube smart enough to translate that into English or something? They, I'm sure they could. Probably. Yeah. So another question is like, do you own a record whose A side is very different in quality from the B side? Yes. Where the A side is like brilliant and the B side is like meh, you know. Or, vi or vice versa. Sometimes the or B is better than the A. Yeah. So, Holy Grail. Um, and yes. The, yes. I mean, an A side, B side is, um, I, you know, um, let it be uh, bracked with I know your name. So, it's a little different there. I know your name. Look up the number. It's kind of a weird, you know, like it, it. It's, it's a different thing. But let it be is such a gentle classic mainstream yet true yeah I so actually, very you know juxtaposing exactly yeah so. uh we're joined by my favorite doctor dr robert dr robert welcome to the tv show hey guys uh we hey, had uh, a very interesting program on the sarah raging tomato it was inundated with elderly gentlemen and one young william was handed his fanny patootie in spectacular fashion by Tarsha. 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 Really? Uh, you, were you there? Did you witness any of this? I didn't see that. I, I did look at it for a bit. There were eight people on, and I, you know, I, I asked to come up, but they there wasn't yeah. room, and I watched for a while, but then I kind of I faded out. So I okay. made dinner, but I did. Well, we got a brand new friend just coming in, Jeremy V. Don't time him out. Uh, hey, Jeremy V. Welcome. Frederick, can you tell Jeremy V. what the TV show is about here, what he's watching? Well, my Jeremy is, V. We talk about uh, music. We talk about uh, vinyl collecting. And there's a lot of uh, mayhem going on sometimes. Sometimes it's like really wild and going Jeremy. beyond music. But it's always it's always fun and it's always interesting. Yeah. So yeah. Now, Jeremy, you're a guitar player. As you can see, I've got my Les Paul back here. I've got my Gresh. We have got to give Jeremy a wrench. So we talk about music. We talk a lot of nonsense. Uh, Jeremy, how long you been playing? What's your favorite guitar, Jeremy? Uh, I love my Les Paul, but I've got a couple of uh, Telecasters, and I do prefer my Telecaster over my Strat, which I sold my Strat. Well, yes, of course, you musician. I see that you've got Limelight by Rush over. I've got a number of Rush albums in my collection. As a matter of fact, speaking of Rush, this is what we're about. We're a music channel. So we talk about records and like, here's a box set of Rush's classic moving pictures, which is great. Of course, we like the police here as well. These are just the ones over here. And as you can see in the background, there's records. You can see records behind Frederick. So we got musicians. This gentleman here is a musician. This gentleman here is a musician. And uh, I got an 87 custom light that I love. My main guitar, we've just been doing a special. Where's my uh, my pedals? Are they all they got back? Put back yeah. So I got, we've been talking about pedals lately, Jeremy. I got a bunch of pedals back there. I got a, a Vox Wawa pedal. And uh, okay, look at this. Holy smokes. Oh. Too controversial. Okay, teach like, us about that. It looks like rap. Yeah. This, this is uh, Jay Dilla, one of the best hip hop producers of all time. See, yeah. He produced records for a tribe called Quest and stuff like that. And this is a picture disc of his track, uh, Fuck the Police. So, yeah. Oops, sorry for the controversy. No, it's okay. It's just, I mean, hip hop, it's a little outside of my wheel. Dr. Dr. Robert, spinal surgeon. We got a spinal surgeon, Jeremy. Dr. Robert. <laughs> 
Are you are you a hip hop type kid? You know, it's one thing I haven't really gotten into very much. I I was yeah. gonna say, um, yeah, that's just one. I don't know, uh, but I like rap, like uh, um, Gil Scott Heron. You know, back in the yeah. day, his stuff I like is more. I don't know. I think it's more poetic. It's more jazz, I guess. But I was gonna say, Fred. I thought I thought Dilla meant uh, the band, the Police. <laughs> that's not the intent. <laughs> yeah, maybe he did. I don't know. He he's he passed away uh, at a young age, so maybe he meant uh, fuck the band, the Police. Yeah, could yeah, be. Yeah, <laughs> final tap. Oh yeah, there is the oh, uh, there's the Ivan. I, I just keep this one in the closet because got all my stickers, rock and roll stickers, and. Uh, but yeah, we're mostly about record collecting, but we talk about concerts and bands and uh, music that we like, artists and this sort of thing. And we try and have a laugh doing it, which is a big part of it. Uh, it goes to 11. Yeah, yeah. Don't even look at that one. Now, Rachel, you Rachel, seen enough of that. Yeah, go Rachel, ahead, Rob. Rachel, now can I pull the curtain back and tell him the real thing that goes on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, I got his mm. channel, actually. Jeremy. All right, yeah. Here, listen. What's his name again? Uh, Jeremy, Jeremy B. B. He's got 460 subscribers. Oh, he's got Sleepwalk, Santo and ja Johnny. Great uh, song. Okay. That is Apache. So listen, B, oh, Mr. B. Wonderful Land by the Shadows. Holy smokes. Yeah, he's that, uh, stuff. What goes on here is hurt feelings, pain yeah. and suffering. A lot of people very large hoodies with tiny pictures on them. <laughs> Folks, here's Jeremy's channel. If you like yeah. uh, guitar, and I do, I'll sub you up on my uh, on my other account. This one's just kind of for the, the Rachel's Ghost channel, but I have another uh, account. And I'll sub you up, Jeremy, on that one. Uh, but this is um, your channel, Sleepwalk. See, he's playing Sleepwalk, which is such a great song. Um, Rush Limelight, of course, Apache by the Shadows. Uh, Hank Marvin and the boys, uh, Shadows Again, Apache, Wonderful Land. I love that. And I love Mike Oldfield's version of Wonderful Land. Mike Oldfield did a great job on that. Uh, ba -ba -ba, I'll still be loving you, Restless Heart. Uh, Van Morrison, he likes Van Morrison. I got Van Morrison right here. Holy smoke. Oh, yeah. So we got, you know, there's a lot of uh, music that you like that we talk about. Concerts we've seen. Ramones, we like the Ramones here. But uh, anyway, folks, guitar people, uh, please go over and uh, support this young man and his channel. This is Jeremy V, guitar player. And uh, I guess we're, we're unplugged there, Sue. Yeah. All right, a little bit of echo we got to take care of. Anyway, and so what I'll do, one last thing while I'm here is I'll get the link to the channel and drop I've it. i a few times already. Oh, Sue, you're yeah. already done it? All right. Anyway, Jeremy, welcome to the show. Uh, yeah, this guy here, Louis Golden, is a, a great guitar player. So um, there's a lot of guitar players we have. And, Jeremy, we also have Joey Kellio from the band Data and Seven Horse. We've got David Donnelly, who's played with, uh, God, uh, everybody, it seems. And uh, Mark Copernic, he's got his own albums yeah. out. And on and on and on it goes. Speaking of Joey Calio, Seven Horse. Joey, you're the latest. Uh, last night I put on another Seven Horse tune on mm -hmm. the in the YouTube shorts. So uh, we do what we can to promote uh, Seven Horse. Going to see this band, Seven Horse. Is power, uh, we're going to see Data, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and they had that uh, big hit 1990s band. Uh, data really getting their largest claim to fame then with Disneyland. They toured with Sting, all sorts of stuff. And uh, so we do it all. We do it all here. And we just interviewed yesterday on the program uh, Leon uh, Gullert, who's just come out with this new album called Comfort. Uh, the production on this is off the charts. Absolutely beautiful. But, of course, I'm, uh, well, there's uh, this lady right, well, here, I'll move next to you. <laughs> we're right. We're right together. There you go. We're, we're right together. So there's Bob Dylan. There's Bob Dylan reflecting in the glass above uh, Sue. There, big Dylan fan. I love the Beatles. Yeah. All my Beatles and records and rock and roll and all that stuff. Jeremy. So, uh, so folks, uh, the link has Sue dropped the link for Jeremy's channel. Uh, I would like to warn Jer I would like to warn Jeremy that if yeah. you say something weird or stupid here, it gets yeah. sampled.
turned yeah. into a hit song and you never see royalties. So. Yeah, that <laughs> we've yeah, it has yeah. happened. Holy I smokes, yeah. I don't think it happens with every stupid comment that gets dropped here. Well, not <laughs> everybody. If you repeat yourself, if, it, not. Not. if your computer not. glitches out in hey. an interesting way. Hey, yeah. hey um Hey, uh, yesterday's papers, can you take what Dr. Robert just said and get rub it, please? Uh, the last time, Rach, you showed someone playing guitar, it was Scotty Dog. Oh, this, well, poor Scotty Dog, again, uh, because of strict legal requirement, we're up to our necks in lawsuits on this channel. But uh, <laughs> poor, poor Scotty, uh, he was just dealing with a whole bunch of troubles. And uh, I think other things happened. So well, uh, the red flag with Scotty Dog was when he said, um, "Unfortunately, no one loves him except for his talent." Yes, you know oh. he was except seen for, only, uh, as, only a, as, as a as a he wasn't loved as a man as a human. He was only loved as a talent. Yeah, uh, Doctor Robert, something's happened for you. I have no, a story. So I I went down uh, to uh, Powell's bookstore here in Portland. I don't know if anybody yeah. knows it. It's it's a fantastic. I know it. We all know thing. Powell's. My head. Hold on. Wait. Rob and I have got our fingers up, saying, "Wait, Doctor Robert, my kid." went down from Victoria to Portland just to visit Powell's bookstore to walk right. the full city block that the bookstore yeah. takes up. How much? He spent what? $1,000. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but it's known as the world's largest bookstore. Yeah, yeah. I think it is probably. Yeah. It's they, yeah. they call it the city of books, and it's yeah. a whole city block and multiple stories. It's, it's, and it's great fun. It's a, yeah. it's a cafe. But I bought a couple of rock women books so i tina right. by tina turner yeah and then patty boyd i have read wonderful tonight i read patty, patty boyd's book yeah what can you tell me about that i'm going to get into that in a bit uh patty boyd's book is interesting it's a it's an interesting title too because you've got two songs that are written about it right you've got right. layla you and more than that something something right. in the way she moves right and then, but she went with clapton's wonderful tonight as right. a title Right. Almost that is a bit kind of whoa, man. Like yeah. you know, for Beatle people like me, we kind of go, How come you're going with wonderful? Why don't you go? You know, there's something about wonderful tonight, or you know, to play with the titles. But when you go all in on Clapton, that kind of makes you think, Oh, poor George. Yeah. Gotten now. Well, I read Clapton's biography, autobiography a while ago, and yeah. his his relating of that story is just that George didn't really say much you know he just sort of said sure fine whatever go ahead well and, george harrison was fooling around on patty boy well i know so because he felt, so because he's fooling around with her he kind of felt uh, it's a bit of payback a little justice coming his way because he goes i'm no saint so yeah. i can't say i can't act like the offended husband i mean what a double standard it would have been right Right. So there were problems. I mean, George tried to jump on Maureen Starkey. I believe he succeeded. Yeah, and Maureen was married to Ringo at the time. It was just horrible. It's worse yes. than the vinyl community, doctor. Yeah. Hard to imagine. Wait, wait, Rachel. Yeah. Who's jumping on, who's jumping on who in the vinyl community? <laughs> you wish. Rob, there is so much going on behind scenes that I am not at liberty to tell you about. Hold on, but, Rachel. What? Message me right now. All right. Jump it on you. Okay. I'm okay. You're getting it because I'm, I'm I'm fed up and I'm putting it out to Mazzy and everybody's in on this. Everybody's going to fit. Okay. Mm. Oh. Has anyone you, you use the word lesbians today to uh, to, oh. to right. make the okay. movie ratings higher? For a whole lesbian thing earlier. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, and I don't. I trust you'll have the good sense not to share this. Okay. Okay. Well. Good God. Oh, wow. Hang on. It 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 <laughs> spell corrected the one name. Okay. I hope you'll have it. Okay. All right, Rob. And Mazzy, you'll have that doctor. You'll be getting a message too. You're All in right. on this, obviously. Well, thank you. Thank you. Just well, okay. please and show uh, sensitivity. Just keep it. Oh. Really, Rachel? Okay, uh, what? Wait, with with a billy goat? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, okay. <laughs> 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 
Jeremy, I can assure you there is some paranormal stuff going on here sometimes. Yeah. Okay, well, it's good. Well, yeah. Can I talk to Robert's wife? Hey, he said she's, she's wandering out to the deck. She's feeding yeah. the plane. Okay. <clears throat> oh, my God. He's yeah. rightfully ignoring all this bullshit right here. So <laughs> Look, everything's Jeremy, going so good. Now, go I'll ahead. explain the name, the okay. name title. Jeremy. Yeah. A couple of years back or so, the uh, channel got taken down uh, through no fault of our own. Yeah. So Rachel was like, well, she used to be Rachel the Music Ma'am. Yeah. And uh, so she did decide to come back. So we said, should we come back? Yeah, we decided, yeah, come back. And uh, so we're trying to figure out a new name, yeah. a rebrand. Yes. And it ended up because you were rising from the uh, dead. The anyway. dead. Uh, it could have been the Phoenix. You could know. have been a, yeah. But we thought we actually thought of those names, and we're not. Yeah. No, that's pretty pretentious. Um, so we just went with the ghost instead. Now, Jeremy, I hope you're not prejudiced against trans women of color. I'm actually a fully functioning post-operative transsexual male or female. I don't want to shock you with that kind of information because it's first time. But I got to tell you something, young man. If you're a blues player, you're going to want to get yourself one of these. This is a blues driver, the BD2 from Boss Battles. You're going to, you're going to want that for your blues, all right? Uh, okay, Jesse. Okay, Jesse. Yeah, you know who's in the paranormal? Ruth Ann's in the paranormal. Well, I mean, she doesn't have a big channel. Though. Yes. Well, maybe. Yeah, Brad. We is, learned about someone. Yeah, that was. Like <laughs> yes, we learned about Rachel. This is wasn't that crazy? I got an interview. Pedal talk. Yes, we do pedal talk around here. Can someone explain to Musette that I am not Thor? Okay, where's me, Sam? Thor. Yay! It's just because your picture's coming in blurry. It's not oh, Thor Musette. Oh, well, is it? Is it have better eyes. Musette, like cats, you're supposed to have good eyes. Yeah, maybe she should buy some Eno Lunetta. I love this, and I love Lunetta. Beautiful, we spoke. I thought it was a spine surgery live stream because of Dr. Robert's presence lecturing. I'm wondering if Dr. Robert is going to give us a medical minute today. The medical minute. Mm. Anything happening in the world of medicine that we need to be aware of, Dr. Hart? Anything good happening out there? Uh, well, my wife just said, don't ask an orthopedist. So, uh, you know, I, I got to <laughs> start it. So I, I'll give you the story. One time I was arguing with my anesthesiologist and she uh, was kind of my, it was a very sick patient and she didn't want to put him to sleep and she was right. I was wrong, but I was pushing her to, to do it anyway. And she oh. finally got frustrated with me and she said, Oh, I forgot. I'm not arguing with a doctor. I'm arguing with an orthopedic surgeon. <laughs> oh, that's a scam. That's, that's a scam. Yeah. in the medical world. Well, you know what it is because doctor it's because you specialists often lack what's called the bedside matter. You're Perfect. perfunctory. You go in, you see the wound, you heal it. You don't want to be talking. You don't want to talk about Sunday brunch or the fears of mortality and the I passing. Think, I think she was saying, like, you're not really a very, you're not a snazzy yes. doctor. You just know how to use a hacksaw. Yeah, but that's like Jerry Seinfeld. Remember yeah. Seinfeld? Uh, right, right. Hold on, I've got to do my Seinfeld because this brings it all home. When he, when he goes, oh, so you're a skin doctor. You go, what are you, a pimple? <laughs> yeah, and right. Actually, she saved my life. I had skin cancer. He goes, <gasps> Skin cancer, like I missed that one. Rob, go ahead. What do you got? Has Dr. Robert ever had someone open and go, hmm, he has the spleen of a much younger man? <laughs> I don't even understand the humor in that, but <laughs> the humor, it's, a, it's medical humor, doctor. I don't know. You got, you got a lot. You well, got you did laugh. that if you were a GP, for the love of God. This is what I these specialists. I don't know, but uh. Yeah, they say uh, that's another joke is that the difference between an orthopedic, Squeezy is the one who understood what I was saying. So the, the difference between an orthopedist and a carpenter, what's the difference? And the difference is that most carpenters know at least two antibiotics. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. And listen, Jeremy is getting it. He that was funnier people. than Rob's. They got nothing. What? <laughs> Look at he hates people that are spineless. You see what's happened here, Jeremy is. I think Jeremy's uh, going to be up. I think Jeremy's going to last. Yeah, he's going to be all right. All right. Let's see if it works again, Doctor Robert. Uh oh. 
Now listen, here he Jeremy. Has, oh, oh, go ahead, Rob. He's got another. He has the spleen of a much younger man. <laughs> he has now, you know what? You're you're so My Jeremy, wife isn't laughing either, I can tell you. <laughs> well, now we're Jeremy, where in this great world of ours are you located? Where are you from? Are you in Oklahoma? Are you in Texas? Are you in California? Where are you in Japan? Where are you, Jeremy V? Let me know in the comments below. And believe me, younger viewers like this, and speaking of younger viewers, make sure you're putting the thumbs up, kids. It really helps the show. It really helps us out. We get excited. and uh, But we talk about all sorts of stuff. You're inching your way towards 6,000 subscribers, Rachel. Good news of the day. I'm slow. By the end of the month, I'll have my 6K. Uh, it's pretty predictable. I gain about 100 subscribers a month, 100 and change <laughs> per month, it seems to be fairly consistent that way so it's a slow growth kind of thing there's nothing really booming the channel or anything and uh lord knows uh that doesn't happen but uh we do what we can but thank you trish so much yeah we're getting there a little bit at a time uh do spine doctors listen to two princes two princes i i, I don't get the joke i don't know that one he's over and he's from barcelona Currently yeah. residing in England. Anything's possible from there. Okay, uh, Jeremy, I'm in Canada. So, Jeremy, you seem to be living in Arkansas. Arkansas. Is that near Bill Clinton's <laughs> old residence in Little Rock? I drive through Johnny Cash's birthplace every day to work. Well, that's amazing. I saw John uh, Johnny Cash, June Carter, 1978, at a, at a Billy Graham crusade, Frederick. Billy Graham. And they were doing their gospel numbers, but it was a legendary Johnny Cash, the man in black. I take this ride over to the heavens above. <laughs> Fantastic, because it was gospel oriented. <laughs> All right, that was good. Rob, did you feel Johnny had come back for a second during that? I did. <laughs> I feel like that's what Johnny sounded like when you were locked in the third stall of the men's room in San Quentin. Now that was funny. That was very funny. Really? Uh, yes. All right. You know, Rachel, he really does have the sense of humor of an orthopedic surgeon. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I detest the spin dogs. That horrible song with every whisker on my face says me is that. Am I still blurry? <laughs> uh, let's take a look oh and see how you are. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh dear. Somebody I don't know. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be. This is gonna be. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have to show it to my internet. I'm. Oh dear. Am I still blurry? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Everybody, oh, be, quiet. This is... everybody be quiet. <laughs> Why we can do something with this? Okay, Frederick, say again what's happening. He's afraid now. <laughs> He's very afraid. Am I still blurry? Uh, oh, I'm not afraid. I don't give a shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm. he said. 106. <laughs> it's gonna be a new hit. I can tell right now. I feel it on my phone. Oh my god, it's happening, folks. Uh let's rock it. 106. Oh my God. Holy smokes. The 106. Absolutely rocking. Yeah, he's got a Vox AC30. It looks like uh, that's our friend Pat playing guitar. Yeah, that's Pat's good. radio. 
that's actually good. Is is that is that your uh, Persian carpet or is that Pat's? Uh, in terms of uh, that, what's in the video that yeah. we're seeing there? That is everything's Pat. That's his Pat. I have almost. We have almost the same. This is my wife. You got almost the same Persian carpet. Yeah. Oh, okay. I like that. Actually, we got one too, but ours is in the uh, other room. In the other room. Where's our Where's our main carpet in the living room? <laughs> Room, I know, but you know, you forget. I'm not okay. <laughs> oh, that's like our satellite. Well, well, he lives on. with us for two years and yeah. then asked me where the breadboards are. Well, it's, it's just hurtful. Here's the latest uh, hit from Renee. My, 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 orthophon bent in half. Let's check it out. And Elliot wants a link. All right, we'll get him up. I call my, 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 Where? my, 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 my. my. Or to fall, bend in half. 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 Provider, our internet yeah. provider is working here in the street, so there's a, there's a problem with the internet, and our provider is. Wait, 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 wait. I can't help it that my internet is bad. Awesome. Rachel, I'm gonna have to run. My my wife's taking the dog out, and I think I'm being summoned. All right, Doctor, uh, have the best day. Thank you so much for being part of the drama. Thank you. Oh, I love it. And I'll uh, I'm gonna check out the stream from last night. I'll let you know my thoughts of it. All right, we'd like to have your uh, input on that. Yeah. Have a great Sunday, uh, Doctor. Too. Dr. Robert, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, everybody. Check it out. Yes. We won. Won in the first two games in the NCAA tournament. We're up to the round of 16, sweet 16, VU meter. I don't need an hour to say, go pack, man. We are hot. We are doing great, great. All right, everybody now, needs to back the pack. All right, now a lot of people in Arkansas don't know where North Carolina is on the map. This is all about your one of your sports teams doing exceptionally well in their sport, and it's won a lot of the sport, and it's happened in North Carolina. Yep. So far, we've got the the, the hated UNC Chapel Hill is also in the Sweet Sixteen. Yes. Uh, Duke is playing today, yeah. and just south of us yeah. in the state of South Carolina, yeah. Clemson uh, will be. Well, they're not playing in South Carolina, but the school from South Carolina, Clemson, yes. will be playing today. We could get four ACC teams in the final in the Sweet Sixteen. All Huge right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Loki, we're not. There's no polls going on today. Okay, this is not a day for polls. This is a day of celebrating sports teams in North Carolina. Now, listen, I don't want Arkansas getting their noses bent out of shape. Okay? Let's settle down, Arkansas. I, I don't know that Arkansas has got anybody in the, Jeremy, still in the, Jeremy's in the tournament. Half an hour. Jeremy's he's half an hour. He's already game. picked out his heroes and villains for the live stream. Yeah, but he's also already got a nickname. Which one's what's his nickname? Arkansas. Arkansas. Listen, Arkansas, you son of a... It's uh, what happens on the TV show. 
Jeremy. Now, here's the thing. Uh, this show, Jeremy, we're on every day except tomorrow in an unheralded, a bit of unfortunate serendipity. Tomorrow we're off traveling. We're tra- we got a traveling day. But this show runs every day, three hours, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Mm-hmm. Pacific time. So you're probably in mountain time, Arkansas. And that means that you're going to be two hours ahead of me. So 9, 10, 11 o'clock. So it'll be, it's like 11, 12 right now. Arkansas will probably be central time, wouldn't it, Rachel? Well, I'm recognizing that maybe central. Okay, so be. I'm not sure. it's yeah. got to be 11. It's got to be 11 o'clock where he is. Yeah. Jeremy, look at your clock, okay? <laughs> and, and is it nine, Is it 11, 13? He said it was 11. He said he's central time. It's got to be 11.30. And then for for people in New York and stuff on the East Coast, it's going to be Eastern time. So it'll be yeah. like 12 there. Yeah. It's one. Of, it's just got to be. It's somewhere there. Anyway, Jeremy, we're here every day doing this show. Once you get to know the rhythm of everything, it's like double dutch, two ropes skipping time it eventually we can get you up and we can talk about Jeremy's your channel and everything well would jeremy need to see a few records to realize this is actually a, a bunch of vc people here yeah we showed we did show some earlier but keep going elliot what do you got yeah. for the kids uh well i got my shipment you know stuff that comes from southern california to here north carolina either takes less than 48 hours or yeah. two weeks yeah. so, so it took the long way around this time some stuff I got from Rob. Oh, it's Grizzle Dad. I can tell right now. Yeah. There you go. Boom. And, and you can look at this any way you want. It doesn't matter. Yeah. This it is Europe really 72. Matter. I've been playing that uh, today, actually. Yeah. And uh, interestingly enough, our good friend from Knoxville, Roger, yeah. when when Ra, uh, when uh, Tardis Rider. Yeah, Tardis Rider. When I bought this from Rob, yeah. It, he, he had noted that it did not include the the booklet. Tardis writer Roger sent this to me. Yes. So I've got that to go with it. Well, and that's really great when you can combine those things. It adds value to it. I got two Thelonious Monk records. Right. What do you think about it? Rob? I want to get the reaction of Rob, our resident jazz expert. As you're showing these, I want to zoom in on the response. Of, oh, dear. He doesn't like that one. Oh, he's got a well, well, very so, tiny logo on this shirt. So, uh, Elliot, that is a Spanish reissue, but that is of his first recordings for Vogue in Paris. Uh, right, right. Yeah, this is the Everest Records uh, Archive of Folk and Jazz Music Pressing, which they did a lot of reissues of a lot of blues yeah. and folk and jazz. And so that that's what this is. This is from Paris, recorded in Paris in 54. All right. And those are the ones I've listened to so far. But I also got this, Max Roach. And this is uh, jazz in three-quarter time. Yes. And this is a, a, a jazz three-quarter Tennessee time. jazz series pressing. <laughs> fairly recently. And what we all love in the VC are yeah. uh, digitally remastered uh, direct from the original analog tapes because we know digital is superior. Uh-oh. You know, uh, Elliot, that uh, album cover won a Grammy. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Yeah, this yeah. is the yeah, they're, look. Uh, they're giving them out for anything these days. Well, no, that know. was in the 60s, right? I know, Rob, please <laughs> just go with the bet. Okay. So, so uh, you know, really. If they do a good job of it digitally remastering yeah. it, it's going to sound just as good yeah, as, big, as big, it is uh, if it's all analog. Big ganja advocate, from what I understand, <laughs> Max Roach. There, holy yeah. smokes, Elliot, you uh, you're a recovering alcoholic. You've been you battled the bottle, <laughs> and uh, for younger viewers, do you have any words of advice for them? Stay, keep their livers clean to help them fly straight and fly right. Uh, I, well, in all seriousness, Rachel, I was very fortunate that I did not get that addictive gene where people become alcoholics yeah. oftentimes. Yeah. For some reason, I was able to turn turn it off as easily as I turned it on. Uh, so I was a heavy drinker in, in college and in high yeah. school. But uh, I don't do much anymore. Not at all, really. I, I bet I, about the only time I have a beer is if I go get some takeout at 
sports bar and I go to the bar there to wait for my order, my takeout yeah. order or something like that. That's about, that's about it. But I would just say, uh, find something you're interested in and, and focus on that and get your mind off the bottle. That's this is hurtful, I'm Ryan Anderson. Hey. Elliot doesn't have bad records. Those are beautiful records. This is hurtful. This is a kind of discrimination that people in North Carolina, and I think it's driven in part by jealousy over the success North Carolina's yeah. having. If, yeah, if those kidding. are dollar being records, then, and Rob owes me a uh, a, a big uh, well, refund. Uh, uh, Ryan, Ryan Anderson yeah. is bitter and angry. Yes. Uh -oh. um, There's that. And I sent you some extra records in that batch too. Yes, you did. They're downstairs because I didn't I didn't clean these records because I know you cleaned them before. But the uh, the the two that the two extras you sent me, great. I appreciate them as well. I just don't have them upstairs. Well, we're downstairs. having trouble over in the great state of Missouri. We got trouble in St. Lou. Uh, here's the comment. I'll let you read that. That's yeah, that's true. Problem. You have to drink to wash away the pain of NC State athletes. Past. We have struggled. But what is the sign of a true yeah. supporter, a true fan? You stick with the team through thick and thin. <laughs> and boy, when it comes back and you start winning again, it is sweet. It is sweet chance and everybody else. So don't abandon your teams just because they're not no. uh, they're not winning. You stick yeah. with them. Yeah. Did he just say that chance is sweet? He did say yeah. that in, because Elliot's this kind-hearted man. Uh, go ahead, to Fred. What's going on, Frederick? Can you highlight uh, Ivan Music Man's comment, please, about me? Ivan. Yeah, we go to Ivan, and there we go, and here you go. Oh, look at that. He is, but you are, you know what? You are making what's called in the business. And Rob knows a little bit about this. Uh, Jeremy, I know you're new. You don't know. Rob lives in the heart of Hollywood at Muscle Beach in California. And what you were doing there, Frederick, was what's called in the business, making love to the camera. The camera loves you <laughs> and it doesn't love everybody. Isn't that like, oh, a God. Like it, it's it, it it can put up with me, but it loves Sue. Like the camera loves you, yeah. but it puts up with me. Are you? What did you do? <laughs> I got a you got a cramp hand. doing that. My God! Oh, Put me next to Sue, please. Uh, oh, sorry, we're putting you down, Rob. It looks like you've been demoted. Oh, hold on. There we go. Now we're getting it right, Rob. I'll put you back up. I, I just don't feel right about it. Uh, Jeremy, you so true, but they're on the run of a lifetime now, and now I do tip my UNC cap to them. So uh, some uh, proper praise coming in from the peanut gallery for Elliot Cruz's beloved Tar Heels. This is fantastic. No, 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 Wolfpack, Wolfpack, Wolfpack. Oh, Wolfpack, yeah, they're the Wolfpack. Sorry, yeah. Wolfpack. Tar Heels are our arch enemies. Oh, oh, very scary. Uh, I'm too sexy for the stream, yes. But uh, Chance, I appreciate that. I, I hate to see Missouri. I don't know who Chance's team is. I think it it's Missouri. It has to be something with Missouri on Missouri, it. Missouri has not had a good basketball year yeah. this year. Now, do the people – They had a really good football year, though. Do the good people of the uh, state of North Carolina, would they refer to them as like a Missouri or Missouri? Probably say Missouri. I, I say Missouri. Missouri. All right. A Miseret. Well, that's like our own muse set. Uh, beautiful. No. Yes. Miseret is uh -oh. the nice, nice. Because you yeah. remember what I said, Rachel? Yes, it balances out. Yeah, that's the nice version of Musette. Oh, okay. So she has a delightful uh, personal side. Listen, folks, we have been here for three hours, 17 minutes. We got a big day. We're on the road. We're on the highways. We're driving around today. Elliot, go ahead. I'm just that's back in the pack right there. That's oh, the that's the, the wolf. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, go ahead, Frederick. One last statement before I yeah. go. Uh, yeah. At the beginning, at the beginning of the show, you said that Rene couldn't be here because he had to go to his aunt taking care of his uh, family who is uh, who has dementia or, or something. Yes. Yeah. yeah that's Rene. Yeah. I want to give a big shout out to everyone taking care of family who is right. sick. That's, that's right. Very yeah, true. very good words, Frederick. Thank you so much. Rob the Wax, thanks so much for helping out with another exciting show. Folks, we'll be back not tomorrow. We'll be back 
Tuesday morning. Rob, thanks for the record. Thanks, Rob. Thanks. I'm afraid that this garment has somehow chemically seared itself to my skin. <laughs> <laughs> with this very tiny picture and jeremy welcome along uh very nice to meet you today always happy to have another musician uh join us anytime you want again 6 a.m pacific monday to friday or monday to sunday every week every we're on every day every fucking day we're on daily. here take we're care sorry. everybody bye me, for I'm now sorry. Poof. yeah me i'm love uh, <laughs> uh, i got to go back and watch the